Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. This is going to be a car, <laughs> uh, you know, edition right here because a sister just felt so compelled to come outside. Today is my uncle's, you know, transitional, you know, anniversary. So I wanted to be out in nature. And unfortunately, but fortunately, it's raining. And my plan was to do a reading out in nature, but with the rain, you know, that kind of, you know, thwarted my plan. So I said, you know what, I'm going to pull over in a beautiful park area surrounded by trees. And I am going to provide the Scorpio reading in a completely different setting. Unfortunately, y'all can't see it, um, but you could hear the rain. You know, hopefully it's very soothing to you all. Um... And you could just, you know, kind of like just ground yourselves and tune in and tap into this message, beloved, because this is going to be a good one. Um, I really, really, really feel it's 957 on the clock that breaks down to three. That is that divine feminine energy. That is that empress energy. That is that goddess energy. If you are a masculine energy, you could be tapping into that energy or you could be dealing with that type of energy or you could be balancing yourself out to tap into your feminine side. Um, you know, maybe more be being more emotional, being more vulnerable, um, you know, being more intuitive. You know, that is a natural uh, feminine attribute and characteristic. So some of you could be tapping into your intuition. Um, but I feel with that three, like, you know, there is this, this very, uh, very intentional pause, you know, it's like a pregnant pause. Um, this could be in regards to, uh, you know, maybe contemplating or strategizing or just working out the kinks with a particular uh, idea or course of direction that you're desiring to go, but you could be weighing the odds, so to speak. Um, or if you're in that energy of like creating, you know, you could be starting something new, working on a new project. So you are learning. So you could be studying a lot. You could be doing a lot of research on the topic. Um, you could be watching a lot of tutorials or just engulfed in an energy where there's this, this, um, this, this honing, you know, skills, you're honing a skill, um, you're mastering your plan, mastering your craft. Um, this is really that energy of, uh, like planting the seed and, and really cultivating it, nurturing it, watering it. So it's not like you just planted the seed and left it and forgotten about it. Like a lot of people do, which is why their manifestations don't manifest. It's like you can't just send up a petition and don't follow up or follow through. You have to cultivate and nurture it. You have to set the intention and call it in and do whatever. So the same thing is applicable to when you're starting um, perhaps some a new uh area you know you're 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 in in uh, embarking on some particular new endeavor of interest uh something that intrigued you and you said you know what why not try uh you know what why not give it um a shot you know what i'm talking about like you're you're stepping out there in faith and you're walking in faith you're trusting yourself um and and you're living you know, fearless, you know, because maybe in the past, I feel like there was more uh, of a hesitation to go and, you know, start something new or do something because you were a little set in your ways. Maybe you were comfortable or maybe you just simply got complacent. So now it's just like when you get, you know, when you strike, when the iron's hot, so to speak. So it's like, there's no hesitation. There's no talking yourself out of it because the fears you may have had in the past, you no longer have those fears. So it's like, now you're just like, you're going, you, you're interested in it. You going, you going for it. You don't care if, uh, you know, if it's a complete fail, guess what? If you're really that interested, you're going to try again and you're going to try again until you what master your craft till you sharpen your sword that is what the intention is all about you have to be intentional about whatever it is that you desire if you're intentional then that means you're putting an energy a frequency your vibration 
uh, into that of which you're manifesting or into that of which you are calling in or drawing in. Um, you are what you attract. You know, you attract what you are. We are Mike, we are electromagnetic beings. So that's why it's very important to A, have your mindset, have your mindset in that God frequency, that God is frequency. That's why that three opening up the reading with 957, uh, which breaks down the three, that Empress energy, that Emperor energy, they've already, they've already been through you know the 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 um they've already foolproofed the plan so to speak they've they, they've reached that level of self mastery you know what i'm talking about so it's like now they're ruling empires so that's the energy the frequency you're in so you've already cultivated and nurtured and 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 watered a seed that you've planted long before and it's now blossomed it's it has not only blossomed but it's flourishing you know what i'm talking about like you are very powerful at this time very attractive very self-aware very intuitive very 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 much observant even you know that's why i was feeling an energy of like just kind of like a pregnant pause you know you're you're uh deciphering some sort of coordinates you know what i'm talking about of which direction you're going to go in or head in so there's a very meticulous process that you you know um that you in 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 um endure before you take action you know because that 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 fire energy of the empress and the emperor they're very action oriented they don't just sit very long but they are very intentional in terms of you know, mastering a plan. You know, this is the type of person that takes their time to get it right. Then they take action. You know what I'm talking about? Like a, em a emperor and an empress rules empires. So you have to to uh, be very, um, very aware, very observant, very informed, very self-aware. You have to know how to lead. You know what I'm talking about? Like you have to be able to identify leaders in those around you. You got to be able to identify the snakes around. You got to be able to know how to navigate, you know, this this planet. That's why having that connection that I was feeling was, you know, a very strong connection to, to you know, to Mother um, Gaia, Daughter Earth. So staying grounded at this time, I feel, is going to be very beneficial. We are also uh, in the new astrological new astrological year in addition to the new year because we all know that the spring equinox is the true new year not the dead of winter so now there's this new energy this fresh energy this vibrancy that i'm picking up like radiance you know i just feel like the sun's shining i feel like there's progress uh you know there's a lot of success at this time uh, or there's some success that's going to be uh, garnered upon a lot of you for the blood, the sweat, the tears, for the efforts, for the work, for the strength that you've had to display, stand in. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's a beautiful energy I'm picking up with Scorpios. I have been picking up the same energy for quite some time. And I just know that it's here. Uh, this new year is the spark of a new opportunity to embark on new endeavors so there's really just this beautiful energy of um a fresh start you know i just feel like a fresh start i really feel beautiful beautiful energy coming in for you beautiful scorpios i just want to say to anyone that may be new welcome to the soul tribe to the soul family my name is q I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath. I am also clairaudient. So during this reading, you will hear me referencing songs, uh, you know, and the way that it works uh, is the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock. It will correlate to what I may be channeling at that time, as well as what the cards are showing. And it all just blends very beautifully. Um, I do apologize for, you know, the, the, the camera shot. I can't do anything about that because I really want to focus on showing you all the, the cards. I really like to, you know, show the cards. So, um, and plus I'm in the car, so it's not really that, you know, it ain't really nothing to see. But, um, yeah, so we're going to tap in, tune in, 
Um, uh, my spiel here, beloved, is eat the fish, spit out the bones. Meaning, if the reading does not apply, you let it fly by, beloveds. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun signs. So check your natal chart to see where your other placements are so that you can get a more clear and concise understanding of you. Uh, to all my beloveds who are returning, you already know what it is. <laughs> love is love is love. I love you all. Thank you all for loving me. Thank you all for just showing love. Thank you all for growing the soul tribe. Thank you all for your comments. Thank you all for your patronage of my shops. I give super duper thanks and love to those who even pay it forward and, you know, feel so inclined to bless your girl with one of those, uh, you know, like a little, um, you know, like a little uh, donation. I truly appreciate it, you know, um, I, and I give love right on back. I rotate it right back to you all, infinitely beloved, not tenfold, infinitely. Um, also, my readings are timeless, so whenever the video has popped up in your feed or whenever you felt inclined to click play, well, beloveds, that was divine timing and divine intervention that you've done so. So, we're going to delve into the reading, shall we? I feel like this is going to be a very good reading. I feel good energy. You know, like I said, today is a special day. I love you, Donnie. This is my uncle who had cerebral palsy, but you, you couldn't tell him that. <laughs> my uncle was amazing. He had one arm, one leg. You know what I'm talking about? But I've watched this man, like, fix TVs. Six VCRs. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, he was a genius. Like, everybody knew my Uncle Donnie on my block. Um, loved Donnie. Donnie was a lover of music, which is why I am, like, a lover of music. Because every, uh, every one of my favorite songs I first heard, you know, chilling in Uncle Donnie's room while he had, you know, his own little, uh, his own little building sessions because he liked to make things. You know, he would make, uh, lamps. My Uncle Donnie was a beast, you know, uh, several, but that's why I'd be like, I don't believe in people using, uh, you know, having excuses for why they can't do something. When I've watched people who literally probably could use that as an excuse, I can't, but didn't, and, and they succeeded and just, just thrived in the world. I, I, look, I grew up in the Bronx in the, in the seventies and, um, so everything I experienced, you know, out there, my uncle experienced, but my uncle was was fearless. Like he still traveled on public transportation with cerebral palsy. Like he still got himself around. And that is homage to my grandmother and grandfather and how they raised, you know, him to not think of himself as someone who can't do something just because he's different. You know, different doesn't mean that you're you know, uh, uh, that you're in, incompetent or uh, that that should inhibit you in any way. And that's what I love about my grandmother, and my grandfather, who too are ancestors. I love you, mommy, daddy. Um, so just growing up around that always let me know and always made me um, feel like I could do anything. You know, anything that I put my mind to, um, I could do it <laughs> because I've seen it not only as a living, walking example from my Uncle Donnie. Uh, but I also seen it, you know, within my own application in this lifetime, in this, you know, in this life. So it's a beautiful energy I'm picking up on. I'm in a good mood. Um, uh, everything is moving and shaking here. It's this beautiful. It's a rainy Saturn's day, but it's still beautiful. You know, like I said, I was about to go out and take a nice nature walk because when I woke up, it was sunny. But shoot, as soon as I got out the shower and was getting dressed and started getting all cloudy, I was like, what's going on? But uh, it didn't stop. It didn't stop uh, the progress <clears throat> because I'm going to still do what was on the calendar. Nothing stopped just because it's raining. The rain is good. I walk in the rain. Sometimes if it's hot enough, I'll walk barefoot in the rain. Like if it's a woman of day, like, you know, the rain is beautiful. It's beautiful. You get downloads, especially certain type of rainwater is really uh, beneficial. It's magical. You know, it's powerful. Like, especially, uh, you know, during a moon cycle, if there's uh, some some thunder, you know, like a storm and, and it's thundering and raining, getting that nice thunder water from the rain is really good when you're doing, uh, you know, uh, manifestation rituals or um, 
you know, prosperity rituals or cleansing rituals. Uh, very good energy to work with. I'm going into a whole diatribe, but I welcome anyone that may be new. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. I hope that my energy, my vibe, the way that I read the cards, um, you know, vibes with your energy. That you rock with me and I rock with you and we can do this. You know what I'm talking about? So we're going to go ahead, do some house cleaning. Uh, and then we shall proceed with the read ashe. All right. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beautiful souls. So let's see what's playing on the playlist. Uh, it is 10-11, beloveds. We just missed 10-10. But that 10-11 reduces to 3. Remember, we saw... 957 so that's just double confirmation of the divine feminine energy i was picking up on also um i'm picking up on you know just mustering through with strength courage and wise dome um with whatever it is that you're going after that three is associated with the solar plexus uh the solar plexus is really a you know it's, it's like the second brain. You know, some might say it's the first, but that's where gut instinct is housed. That's where, you know, uh, strength, you know, you, you, you healing from past wounds and traumas. Uh, if you don't heal from that, you, it, it, it kind of blocks your root chakra. Uh, you know, because you, you, you have to cleanse, um, any fears. You, you have to be able to brave your light. You have to be able to walk, um, you know, walk in faith. You have to be able to dis display strength, even in those moments where um, it looks real, it, you know, it ain't looking good. You know what I'm saying? You still got to stand up, stand direct, stand your ground. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, it's really that energy that really puts you um, in a, a, a place of, of um, protection, like self-preservation. You're protecting yourself. But um, what we got playing right now on the playlist is we have Mary J and it's called It's On. All right. So it's on something. Something is on. So that means that there's like some sort of uh, direction that you're you're headed in. So that's it's like a new beginning. So something's on. Maybe you got the green light. Maybe you got a yes answer. Uh, you know, maybe you got a, 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 some sort of new start. There's some, something's on. So if it's on, that means that there's some sort of movement. I feel like it's going to be moving. It's going to be um, progressing. Um, so th there's like, I see like there's things picking up perhaps in a certain situation. So let's see what we got with the uh, numerology deck, beloveds. Okay, look at that. Hello. We got the one new beginning here. This one is associated with the root chakra as well. So the root chakra is your energy, Scorpios. You rule the root chakra. That's also known as the base chakra. And the base is really like where you have to get to the root cause of whatever issues, whatever uh, traumas, whatever fears, whatever pain, whatever hurt, whatever you've endured or have gone through, whatever uh, past wounds, um, karmic lessons, whatever those things may be that may have hurt you, you have to first heal those things. So this is really about your stability, your security. How do you feel safe in the world? You know, like, do you feel uh, confident in your ability to sustain yourself? Do you feel safe in terms of your environment, in terms of the people uh, around you? Do you feel you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like it's, it's, it's really that type of energy. But you first learn this through your own familial um, dynamics. So within your own 
like living environments is where you first learn this so maybe if some of you experienced abandonment or uh rejection as a child from a parent maybe you know for example this is just an example you grew up uh clinging to uh your your partner in your relationship because of the fear of losing them of the fear of them rejecting you so maybe you overcompensated just so you could uh, appease them so that you could please them so that they wouldn't leave like maybe there was just this overcompensation um, of yourself of your energy so as to sustain a relationship because of your root fear the root uh, cause of an issue of fear or trauma of fear with your own family you know so that that's the way it plays out beloved but you've you've since addressed it now you're standing erect that's why you have this new beginning i feel like the one is really about you also having um healed thyself and returned back to thyself because when you're in karmic relationships or toxic relationships uh you lose yourself so it's really imperative after going through uh certain traumas um to to do the work you know to start doing that that healing um to start self-reflecting to maybe even um you know take some time to withdraw from certain people or to to relocate to get a fresh energy um to assess things um but just pulling your energy back from certain things i feel now with its own plane like you are um on this new voyage like you're now on a whole new start on the precipice of some new beginning some new start and it's because of the work that you've done on the self um one is the self you got to heal that self in order to love that self and when you love that self then you know that self and this is what you are you you are very solid you're very um very much tapped into your christ consciousness you've reached a lever of a, a higher level of understanding um, and have a higher level of understanding and knowledge and wisdom of yourselves uh, because of whatever you've endured as well. Um, but I just feel spiritual strength, alignment, mind, body, and soul. This is beautiful. On the split, we have rebirth. So look at that. So this is transforming. This is the energy of you really um, taking it serious uh, to not show up the same um to not duplicate something in the same manner to not do something in the same way because of a very painful uh experience like with rebirth that's about regeneration um it's about a renewal you know it's about a a, a re uh fresh uh, refreshing and renewing thyself requires a death you know Scorpios rule death so we have to constantly reinvent ourselves because we go through several deaths in a lifetime every experience that we have we're the conduits of change which means we're constantly regenerating and transforming with each lesson with each you know hurt with each pain because when we come out of it we're completely different our mindset is different it's like we've leveled up in a sense so with this rebirth it's like we're literally rising from the ashes um the ashes of whatever crumbled with that tower it's like the tower falling and it's like the whatever's left and in flames it's like you've emerged from it you know from the from the uh tower moment and you are now someone who's grown you know you're now in alignment uh spiritually mentally emotionally um you're now uh in you know a sense of like equilibrium even but with this six one the 16 rather and this one that reduces to eight so i feel strongly like you know some incoming news uh and when that news come in uh, it's going to be on, you know, maybe you're waiting for some sort of news about some money, some a check, um, you know, maybe you're waiting for your taxes. Some of you could be waiting for news on a business loan or waiting for a certain sale to go through or waiting for something, um, some form of financial uh, security. Uh, Layla Hathaway 
is uh, singing That Was Then. So I feel like, you know, with That Was Then, it's something from the past. So some past effort. I feel like then is just alluding to the fact that something that you've done in the past, um, you know, is now going to change and reshape your future in some way. Uh, I feel like also don't fall into the trap of thinking in um, some old, you know, getting trapped in like an old belief system because that was the old you with that was then spirit is reminding you to to um, always think optimistically because what you think you attract. So if you're thinking with a lot of doubt, then you're going to interrupt, interfere, delay, block your own blessing or block that of which you're manifesting. So with that was then, that's like a, that's just like a, a, a you know, a, a little nugget, nugget of information spirit is telling you like to not fall into the trap of thinking uh, like you did in the past or doing something like you did in the past. It's about, you know, moving forward, thinking uh, ahead or thinking, um, thinking in, um, you know, in a more optimistic, you know, uh, way, you know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in, beloved. So let's see what's coming in from my beautiful, beautiful Scorpio spirit. May I have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. I also feel like it could be possibly uh, some someone from the past, someone connected to your past, also, you know. Um, so maybe there's uh some some sense like you know maybe spirit is also saying uh like don't charge someone for old crimes if they are displaying or showing you someone new because just like you've transformed um someone else may have or maybe that energy that we was just reading is what someone else has just gone through was they went through a transformation and they could be you know uh coming in and spirit is telling you like with that was then, you know, maybe the person that you are um, seeing is not the same person. What you're thinking is probably some old, um, you're, you're thinking in some old, uh, you're, you're thinking in some old way, you know, whatever that may mean. Um, so we have right now, this is um, Philip Bailey, and this is called Children of the Ghetto. All right. So, yeah, the um, there could have been some very humble beginnings for some of you all. Like y'all could have grew up in some rough neighborhoods and now you're really like doing well for yourselves. Like you should be really proud of how far you've come, because I get a sense like some of you all have grew up in, you know, like you grew up, you grew up in the hood, you know. You know, even if you're even if you're white, you know, you didn't grow up with a silver spoon in your in your mouth. You didn't grow up with, uh, you know, access to uh, funds and and uh, what do you that what do they be calling that? Uh, the the the, the freaking um, I don't know what they call it. The something fund with trust funds. <laughs> you know, like you didn't grow up with a trust fund or you know what I'm talking about. Like you had to work for everything that you have and. Uh, maybe you didn't grow up with a lot, but you still persevered and you was able to really, you know, uh, create a nice little safe, you know, cushy uh, comfort. Uh, what did they call that? A, 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 a safety net. You know what I'm saying? Like you got a little safety net. You have your own little space that you've created. You got little change in the bank. You got, you know what I'm saying? You treat yourself every now and then like you've done well for yourself considering where you've come from. You know, that's for anybody. Um, you know, for some of you, y'all could have grew up in the projects and the jets. You don't talk about have very, very humble beginnings where, you know, maybe you grew up with that big block of cheese that they used to give away. Or maybe you used to eat free lunches because you didn't have lunch. You don't talk about like you, you there's this humble beginnings. And it's like you look back in awareness and it's like you see how far you come. And that's what you need to um that's what you need to stand on because that's what that that those type of experiences are what builds character so it's like don't be hard on yourself be very proud the sun is breaking through i love it i'm what i'm witnessing it all um but the sun will be out i see the sun fighting to come out but it's really pretty though because it's like the sky is breaking through but it's still raining then it's like 
the sky. It's just pretty. The, where I like to park, I'm just surrounded by a bunch of trees, you know, so it's really beautiful over here. But I digress. So your card that's on the bottom of the deck, this is the overall energy. And Rebirth came right back out. You just saw me shuffle the mess out of the cards. You saw me cut the cards three times. And this is what's on the bottom of the deck. So rebirth, transformations, regenerations, renewals. This is the birthing of a new you, a new concept. Remember, we just saw a new beginning. That was the first chakra. Now the seven is the crown. That's the, the last chakra, the top chakra. This is the crown chakra is the mind, the psyche. Um, this is speaking to you again, like your growth. You took the basement, the, the, the elevator from the basement all the way up to the crown. So that speaks to growth. That speaks to, um, even a, a, a growth man mindset. Uh, it speaks to pros a prosperous mindset, but it also just speaks to your ability to be tapped in psychically, intuitively, um, etherically. Uh, you have a very, a uh, strong connection with your spirit team, your angels, your ancestors, your guides. Um, I also get a strong sense that you are um, very much in a space where you could be uh, having some lucid dreams. Uh, maybe there are dreams instructing you of something and you need to start keeping a dream journal because I feel like your dreams are going to become very um, interesting. And remember, we are uh, approaching, like I said, this is the new astrological year. So Aries rules the head. So your head, uh, could be of significance, whether you're, you're getting head aches because maybe there's some downloads coming in. Uh, maybe you're feeling light headed, uh, because there could be some transmissions coming in. It's like, um, protect your head as well. Like, especially when you're doing, uh, readings or if you're tapping into the energy, like be sure to anoint your heads. Uh, also cover your hair or cover your head when you are performing. I'm just hearing that. That's crazy because I something told me to cover my hair today. Uh, and, and so I did it and now it's coming up again. So I, I assumed that was a message solely for me, but now it's coming up again. So I feel like spirit is saying, that you all like when you're doing your readings start covering your head i don't know if that's uh as a means of protection and like you could put uh, a crystal uh right at the crown like perhaps maybe like an amethyst or you could put a crystal quartz that's good um you know maybe even a black tourmaline just to uh you know and 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 then wrap your head like just place it there and then wrap the uh head wrap on top of the stone uh, because that also will protect you. I'm just getting this, so I don't know who this is for. Hopefully it resonated. Uh, maybe some of you do this. You know, maybe this is what some of you all are doing. But I just get a strong sense to just wrap your head. But I'm getting strongly that there could be a lot of downloads at this time. Uh, pay attention to your dreams, as I said. Um, and also protect yourselves during the, 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 the rest state um, if you have mirrors, don't let your mirrors aim directly at you. Um, and also smudge around your beds. Uh, you can wipe your bed down with some Florida water, uh, wipe, wipe down your head posts. Um, be sure to like wash your sheets and smudge under. If you have a bed that stands up off the floor, um, smudge under your beds as well. Uh, because I feel like, you know, um, you know, there could be some stagnant energy around there, under there. Uh, and if you like suffer from like, say, insomnia or uh, you're constantly waking up during the, the sleep state, um, then that means like, you know, or the witching hours, like, you know, anything after 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you find yourself constantly waking up, that could be a sign that you're uh, someone is like, doing some voodoo juju hoodoo on your ass. Um, you know, there's some witchcraft being done. There's someone manipulating your energy or there's some sort of psychic attack. And that's the reason why I was hearing that maybe some of you all need to wrap your hair. Maybe at night, uh, spirit is telling you to put a stone, uh, so as not to have like your, um, your, your, your psych, 
your your psychic your your mind manipulated so just as i said like psychic attacks there's someone psychically attacking you which is why you're waking up because your spirit is waking you up so that you're aware and when you find yourselves waking up don't just go back to rest make sure to call upon your guides your angels to protect you in your rest um you can say a prayer um a lot of people do like psalm 23 psalm 91 is good uh you know especially or you could recite your own uh speak your own intention um and command and demand uh that you have that protection but there's definitely i get a strong sense of like someone trying to um manipulate your energy uh and um and there's a need to protect yourselves uh and there's no fear there's no need to be you know afraid you know we have swv use your heart and um what they say is use your heart and not your mind um so with use your heart uh maybe spirit is telling you to uh be emotionally intelligent in an in instance and not doing something logically uh you know spirit is telling you to to use emotional attention so that that and i'm hearing you'll uh, you'll understand it when when the time comes because this point will i believe be more poignant later on in the reading so what we have here is what didn't i say i felt the happy energy i felt regeneration i felt empress energy i felt all of those things but look at this this is showing why you're having a happy ending because you've gone through the necessary process to grow to evolve that's this reaching a self that level of self mastery you know that emperor and that empress as i was speak uh speaking on earlier they're very regal very royal they're very self-aware they're very in tune so they know how to carry themselves and that is why this rebirth is here because that's who you now are you know you're standing standing in that energy uh, as someone who's very uh, confident, very self-aware, very powerful, very attractive, very successful, very abundant, a master manifester. It's like you have, uh, you know, you have the characteristics and attributes of all of the kings and queens. And it's because you've reached that level, you've mastered, you've sharpened your sword, so to speak. And there's beautiful energy, happy endings, that 93, that's that empress that I was speaking of. But look how vibrant, you know, didn't I say I felt this energy of vibrancy? Um, you know, I was feeling this energy of illumination and just, just, just maybe even a truth coming in, maybe even something that you thought was done. Uh, it, it, there's a renewal, you know, there, there's some sort of, uh, new beginning, as I said. Um, every ending denotes a new beginning, but this ending and this new beginning is, is, is super special because maybe some of the lessons, uh, that you were learning were very difficult, very hard, uh, but you superseded even your own expectations, you know, in the outcome. So that's beautiful. So spirit. What is our beautiful Scorpios? Who or what are our beautiful Scorpios attracting to them? They have a message of peace, power, and protection. I can't take all of these cards. So we have 32. This is the card that flew out on my, fo on my foot. Um, these other cards I'm going to expound on. I'm not taking anything that's face down. I just want to see which direction the cards are. Okay, cool. And look what's on the bottom of the deck, 88 abundance. So whenever I see double numbers for any of you that may be new, that means to me that you are, whoever you're attracting, they're coming in um, on the same frequency, vibration, wavelength. They speak the same love language. We have SWV saying, use your heart and not your mind. So this is saying that in this instance, if someone is coming in, because with 32, that's also was telling me to listen to the SWV song, use your heart and not your mind. But we also have the 88. This could be a wish fulfillment. This could be someone finally coming in, or this could be some sort of movement because this 88 reduces to seven. And with this abundance, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled, satisfied, overjoyed, at peace, uh, happy. Um, I'm telling you, we just saw a happy ending. So there is some sort of new beginning. This is someone who's also been taking the time to grow. This is someone who could also be a lover of music. Maybe the music uh, is special between the two of you. Maybe you share the same interests of the same artist. Maybe you have the same type you know, the same taste uh, um, in music. Uh, maybe 
like I said, this person may be clear audience so they could be hearing songs that remind them of you. But this is someone that desires to communicate, to speak to you, to say something because this person has not expressed something. They've been being very logical in a situation where they need to show more emotion. And I feel like they were very emotionally stunted or in, uh, you know, you know, like, um, uh, you know, emotionally, uh, I'll just say emotionally stunted um, because with SWV saying use your heart and not your mind, I feel like it was the reverse for them. Like they were using their heart. I mean, they were using their mind and not their heart. And spirit is telling you use your heart and not your mind because maybe now you've learned to be more like that queen of swords or king of swords where after some sort of painful ending, which is why you have that uh, rebirth, because you had to go through some sort of startling metamorphosis. Um, it was life changing, you know, for you, life altering even in some instances. But it's like you had to turn from that emotional person. Maybe you were too um, imbalanced emotionally, giving more of yourself and feeling very um, taken advantage of or devalued or used, abused, um, dissatisfied. It's like, now you know you're to protect yourself you're now looking at things more logically where you know you're you're looking at things from that bird's eye view uh you're checking for the red flags you're being super uh guarded it's like that's what you've learned to do after some sort of ending whereas your person this is they were just very logical because maybe they're in that air energy maybe they have air in their chart where they're just like you know very um cerebral you know, they, they, everything has to make sense. Uh, and if it doesn't make sense, if it doesn't fit into their plans, then it's just, it's just not logical. So their, their perspective or the way that they look at things were probably warped as well. But I feel with this, there's growth, uh, because that five, um, is telling me that, like, there's, uh, some nuggets of, of information or information that this person is getting, uh, and it's causing some sort of illumination. Uh, maybe they've had some sort of grand epiphany. If you look, the symbol in the yellow, in the middle is yellow, and yellow always is about illumination. It's about the clarity. It's about being able to see something clearly. Um, and I feel like someone has maybe seen perhaps your change, your transformation, or maybe someone has experienced some sort of transformation themselves, and now they're seeing. Uh, you know, um, things in a very different way, but this is really that energy fives are, you know, not only is it the throat chakra, uh, this person may want to communicate, as I said, or will communicate, uh, someone that you're not communicating with at this time. Uh, and we have a world-class wrecking crew, wrecking crew, and this is called turn off the lights. So yeah, there's, there's darkness. So with turn off the lights, something, yeah, there's, there's no communication. Um, that just means like it, it's dark, you know, so it's non-existent, you know, the communication. Um, but this also, the five is associated with the, um, with the, um, um, what is, oh my goodness, I'm tripping. The five is associated with, why can't I remember what the five is associated with? Oh, let me turn this down so I don't get a strike. Okay, thank you. Spirit is like, what are you talking about? You, you was on the roll. The Hierophant. <laughs> I was like really tripping and struggling with that. But the Hierophant is really that energy of learning. So, you know, maybe somebody could have, um, you know, somebody could have, you know, dropped a little jewel on them and, and, and gave them some game or gave them a little nugget of knowledge and they, they learn something or they, they see something clearly because they, you know, took the advice of someone and maybe they have, uh, you know, been learning and studying on their own, uh, reading and researching on their own. And maybe they've been just really ju in a space, um, where they have done their own uh, due diligence to to grow and heal, uh, same as you, because maybe they've been learning from you. You've been teaching them and uh, you know how to do you know to to work on themselves. You know they've been kind of like watching from the you know from the background. Um, but with this seven and this five, that reduces to twelve yet again, uh, and that's three. So I do feel like this person is. Um, absolutely attracted to you and sees you as uh you know an empress or an empress someone very 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 um you just have a regalness about you or you just seem to be very confident 
um, you know, very, very sure of who you are. And that's attractive. Um, that's something that, that attracts them to you is that you, you're yourself, you know, you don't try to be like anybody else. And they've, you know, it's like, that's something they've always appreciated about you, but maybe in the past they had that mindset, like everybody else, like everything had to look a certain way or be, you know, it, it had to be dressed up a certain way for it to be accepted, um, or for it to be acceptable. Uh, and you were the type that scribbled outside of the lines or you were just, you were just your, your own free spirit. You were yourself. Um, and th now they appreciate it because they realize perhaps with them appeasing and pleasing, um, people around themselves, I mean, around them, uh, they see how they weren't living their, their, they weren't being their true and authentic self. They weren't, um, they weren't honoring who they were. Or what their interests were so they they may have learned something from you but i also feel this person is like strategizing a plan like this is someone very uh meticulous um and that's why it's on uh because maybe this person does come in and something just picks up from there because i was also feeling like maybe there's someone from a, the past that could be uh returning to you we have uh vivian green and this is called emotional roller coaster you know, and so I'm about to pull a card for how they feel about you. And we have 88 abundance on the bottom of the deck and we have emotional roller coaster playing. So they feel very much like this out of control, like unstable, like they feel like kind of like up and down the connection with you. Their emotions are all over the place. Um, you know, one minute they're hot and heavy. Next minute they're down on themselves. Uh, but it's been an emotional roller coaster. It has been like, there has not been any, um, I feel consistency in the connection. If this is someone from your past, I feel like this person may have put you on some sort of emotional roller coaster playing with your heart and your mind. I just saw a bluebird fly. So the bluebird, um, deals with the throat shock or the blue, the color blue. Um, and birds are, you know, messengers, uh, spirits, you know, so there could be a message coming in. Uh, with this abundance, I really feel like this person feels uh, strongly for you. The pink is dealing with the heart chakra. And that seven is, you know, that the eight and eight breaks down to because eight, eight breaks down to 16, that's seven. I just feel like there's a sense that, you know, they see you as very balanced, very strong, um, very confident. Um, you know, they may see you as someone very assertive. You go after what you want um, because I'm picking up like the chariot. But I'm also getting like they see you being rewarded because you've transformed, because you've experienced some sort of major change and have overcome major obstacles in your life. Like they see that you are uh, flourishing right now, that look, things are expanding for you. Um, you seem to be very happy. You seem to be, you know, taking charge. Uh, and there's there's just this this wish fulfillment. Um that I, I strongly feel is rushing in. Uh, you're going to have plenty, you know, this is like, you're going to have a lot for what you may have endured. Um, you've been through a lot, uh, with emotional roller coaster. I feel like you've been on some sort of emotional roller coaster ride for quite some time and not just in your love ships, but all of your ships, um, whether your friendships, your, your, your family ships, your love ships, uh, workshops. Um, I feel each of these things have been very, um, it has been very much like a storm that you've had to brave, you know, that you've had to overcome and you did it. And that's why spirit is saying you are, uh, do all of this abundance, all of this happiness, all of this peace. And that could be why this person sees you as abundant because it's not just solely about monetary prosperity, but it's about spiritual uh, prosperity. It's about your spiritual um, compass that that this, that that is uh, that speaks to how wealthy you are, and that's just how they see you. Solid. This is an all pink card, uh, so they see you as someone very solid, but they also see you as someone that matches their fly. You know. This is someone that sees you as ma that that matches their fly. That's very attractive. And remember when I was just expounding on you know 
uh, someone that, you know, may have been doing things to appease others or maybe because um, it wasn't accepted in certain groups. So they felt like they had to fall in line with what was acceptable. We have Sybil playing don't make me over. And that's literally what that is about. It's about, you know, not getting with someone and trying to change them, um, but accepting them for who they are. And that's what this person is now realizing. Like the things that you know, maybe scared them away because it was different than what the norm was, um, whatever that means. It's like now they appreciate, you know, your uniqueness because it has gotten so watered down the, the bot like behaviors and, 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 um, attitudes and, um, you know, um, personalities it's like they truly see that you're like that diamond in the rough. You're just a different person and they're realizing it in you because they're starting to realize and accept it within themselves. So it's like in a sense they've learned from watching your transformation to be fearless. You know, fear is nothing more than false evidence appearing real, false expectations appearing real. Fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. So it is an, in, an illusion, ill use of your ions. So you are self-sabotaging in those moments. And I feel like this person learned, be free, live free. Like when you heal thyself, as I said earlier, you learn to truly and wholeheartedly learn to love thyself. And that's what this person is learning. You have to heal from those things or you have to purge certain belief systems. You have to get rid of things that don't serve you. You have to, you got, that's why this transformation came out first because it requires a transformation of the mind, body, and the soul all encompassing. Everything has to transform in order for you to truly love thyself because you have to be able to see you have to be able to identify those instances when you aren't displaying love of thyself. So it doesn't, it's not about judging yourself in the process. It's about knowing when there's an unhealthy concept or mindset that doesn't serve your highest good and you rid yourself of it and you move more free. You don't have all these that, like all this expectation that everybody else places on you to be, you don't ha carry that no more. You're just being your authentic self. And if people don't like it, they could kick rocks with open, open toe sandals. It's not your concern. That's true freedom. Freedom. Freedom is being free of the, the mind uckery, the monkey mind that society and, and environments and, you know, educational systems and programming systems and entertainment and all of this stuff. This is what they all project onto you and, and program you to think, feel, be, do, act, like. You know what I'm talking about? That's why you got to purge all of that ish. Got to not care, you know, and that takes healing to not care. That takes, you know, a lot of deep soul work you got to really free yourself of these worldly things so to speak because it's it's very it, it's it, at this point in time in this junction in our lives it's like that we got to be on a whole different wavelength with what we are um accepting you know what we are um allowing in our lives in our minds you know, our bodies, but I digress. So whoever this is, this is how they see you. Very emotionally mature, independent. We have Billy Idol, eyes without a face. So with eyes without a face, this is somebody watching you. So you don't realize someone has their eyes on you. And I was telling you, I feel like this person has been watching you, like literally, because in this deck, 57 um, is teaching and learning. And we have 55 and 7 right here. So this person is definitely watching and learning. And they're learning from you because you are um, you are the divine feminine. You know, you are the empress. 
So you 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 are you have that maternal energy. Even if you're a masculine and the emperor, you have that paternal energy. So you are the teacher, the nurturers, you are the protectors, the providers of the family. You you protect the family. That's that Yemenya energy. So maybe there is an energy of um oh wow. I see a, um I don't know if it's a hawk or a um what do you call that? A vulture. They're like sitting on the top of this building across from me. And it's like sun gazing. I don't know if you've ever seen them do that where they spread their wings open. And then they kind of like, you know, they, they soak up the sun. And there's like a little bit of sun peeking out over there very interesting and when i looked it up it said that's like you know that's how they get they they um because you know the the sun is like it's a food source you know so not only does it um give you energy and vitality but it also uh feeds you you know and apparently for for um birds it's it's um very healing like it helps them to to uh dry off you know, because it was just raining. So they do that to dry off as well. But yes, I digress. I'm sorry. I'm just being observant. Look, I'm out here in nature. So I'm like, wow, beautiful. But um, yeah, this is how they see you. Emotionally intelligent, very beautiful, very attractive. Um, this is absolutely someone who's um, smitten by you, drawn to you. So let's see. So let's pull the card. Oh, before we do. So look at this. These are, Remember, these are the cards that flew out. And they were face up and I promised to expound. So we have personal growth. And I said that. That's exactly what you all have been doing. Growing and maturing mind, body, and soul. Reaching that crown chakra, that purple, that all purple. That's the crown. So this is reaching that deeper, more profound understanding of yourself. We also have 66 healing. So again, this is what I said, in order to love that self, you have to heal that self. You have to, you know, be able to um, identify what troubles you, you know, what what hurt, what happened in your past that hurt you? What happened in your past that that um, caused you pain? What happened in your past that made you feel um, heartbroken or, you know, traumatized? Like I was expounding on you know, if you went through those moments during your childhood where you felt abandoned, rejected, um, you know, you felt like you were, um, you weren't appreciated or valued, that's the healing that some of you all could have been doing. That 66 breaks down to 12, that's three. So that's like the three of swords I'm picking up. But I also get a sense of like, you know, you, you're, you're recovering and you're being intentional about it. This is what makes you you. This is a part of the growing pains that makes you an empress and an emperor. And you're also matching the vibration and frequency of someone who's also doing their work. So when there is a reunion, which I'm picking up between the two of you, because that three is giving me like the three of cups as well. You know, the blue is giving me like the water, the cups so also. So and the blue is also giving me the communication I was saying that you all were going to have as well. But this th this is showing me. Like the both of you are taking it very serious to heal, to grow, to mature. You know, um, this moderation, another five. This is again letting us know the change. But this is saying that you sat at the feet or your person sat at the feet of their elders. This is the hierophant again. You know, a master teacher, a pastor, a preacher, a Reiki healer, a shaman, light worker. You know, an intuitive, someone, a Sufi, they went and sat and soaked up knowledge, gain. This is someone who's studying. This is someone who's, this is tutelage. And learning to be independent, learning to stand erect, learning to turn our vulnerabilities into a superpower by standing on your own two feet and co-creating with source, master manifesting. But this individuality shows that there's a sense of you now learning to tap into your divinity as a divine feminine, to be patient with yourself. With self-discipline, this is learning 
from all of those tough, tough lessons, from all of those circumstances that, you know, there was confusion or there was conflict or there was competition. You've had to learn from that. You've had to learn to put yourself first. You've had to learn self-preservation. This is about fight or flight. And I feel like you've had those moments where you had to um, learn to prioritize you. Self-love is more attractive. And that's where that energy is. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's see what we got. Why is this? Who is this person? How does this person feel about our beautiful Scorpios? How does this person Scorpios are attracted? Feel about our Scorpios may have a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, Spirit. So we got a couple of messages. And I, intuition. So they find you to be very intuitive. And that's a divine feminine energy also. But this four, they see you. You know, that four is the vibration of 11. 11 twin flame. You know what I'm saying? So they do see you as like someone that they can build with, grow with, you know, build that nucleus and um, plant seeds and roots with you. They are definitely up in their head about the situation. Didn't I mention 57 teaching and learning? So they're learning from you. They've been watching. They're up in their head about this, you know, and I feel like that's why spirit is telling you use your intuition because or maybe you are using your intuition, but they are very much, you know, maybe from them watching you. They can sense that you already hip to them or you can sense them coming like you can feel them coming like because you're so in tune. But with this teaching and learning, it's like they they are obsessively watching you or they're watching you and not expressing what it is that they desire to say. So with this four and this three, that's seven, seven and eight is 15, that's six. This is that person that may have chose someone else from your past. You know, this could be a masculine or a feminine that like kind of went in a different direction because with six of cups, I'm picking up like in the lovers. Um, this is someone that feels like you're the yin to their yang, their twin flame. Um, but before you get to the six, you have the five. So I feel like with the five of cups, this person may have chose another person. And in choosing that other person, they are now having regrets. There's some sort of remorse. There's something there that they're feeling um like they've made some sort of mistake or they missed some sort of opportunity. What did I tell y'all the sun was going to come out? It was just raining when we started the reading, you know. So this person is now up in their head. But you're very intuitive and trust your intuition. Remember, spirit was saying, um, you know, use your heart and not your mind. And so maybe this is why, you know, um, I feel like this person is also being told to do that. Because maybe they were very logical in the past. But with this, this is how they feel about you. So they feel you're very intuitive, very psychic. This could be intimidating to someone. And with that six, like I said, that's like the six of cups. Them wanting and desiring to return to you. Them also seeing you as the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. Their cosmic companion, their twin flame. They're up in their head a lot. This is giving me the eight of swords. But this is also telling me like this person is stressing and agonizing over like nothing because it's like self-imposed. And it's because they're watching you and they see how much you've been transforming and changing. They see you in this light of regalness, royalness, that they may be a little intimidated. They may be a little, um, you know, just a little bit um, unsure. And that could be why they're like, you know, kind of like trying to plan and strategize a way to come toward you come in on the bottom of the deck we got new beginnings so this person does want a fresh start with you reconcile i do feel this person feels a lot of passion a lot of attraction and we have cameo and this is called single life when you think of cameo um that gives me a sense of like you know this person is like kind of like again like hiding behind the scenes like look watching you from a distance this is like that secret admirer because you know cameo um i don't know why i was thinking of like camouflage when i heard cameo and i don't i'm, I'm not really sure of the you know the the definition of cameo but i just feel like um with um it's like this person hides you know hides behind the guise of so that this person is is like really not showing or displaying their true feelings or didn't sh display it in the past you know like there was some some part of themselves that they hid you know and they displayed a different side than what they truly felt if that makes sense 
And with, you know, single life, that you're single. And maybe now they're single. So you both are single. And that's perhaps why this person is revisiting, you know, this whole idea of coming back. Because now the opportunity has represented itself. You know, maybe the timing was wrong in the past. Maybe it was all about, you know, you both needing to show some patience. This is also another um, double number. And the two in this deck, the numerology deck, is patience. So I feel like both of you all could be coming off very, um, very much, you know, um, planning and preparing, you know, making sure things are balanced, you know, making sure everything's in equilibrium. Because twos are duality, but it's also balance. It's masculine, feminine. So I feel like the both of you are uh, not only um, harmonized in terms of the way that you're thinking. Uh, you both may be very psychic, intuitive, be, uh, very um, discerning. Um, you know, this person may also, like I said, send you messages telepathically or maybe there's a lot of dream activity maybe this person dreams of you this is like that energy of uh, associated with the heart chakra as well but also um i feel like with the two uh it's it's someone hidden you know someone behind the scenes twos are uh it deals with the high priestess so there's someone like you know kind of like just hiding behind the scenes and they see that you're single now they're single and now there's this this you know interest and desire to um revisit this idea we have toby nawigui and this is called day ones so this could be someone that you have a really dope connection with like someone that you knew way back you know um this is a day one so this could be someone you grew up with you know like you grew up with this person perhaps when you were younger, you know, this could have been like a just a cool male friend or a cool female friend, you know, even if it, you know, whatever. It's like it, it was just like y'all was so cool. Y'all y'all had like a dope banter back and forth. You know, conversations were always stimulating, always deep, you know, like it was just a dope dynamic. Um, this person definitely is very attracted. This is passion. This is lust. This is fire, desire, you know, and I'm hearing, you know, like this person definitely gets, gets, you know, they stand up, you know, and, 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 uh, <laughs> and at attention, let's just say that they, they are, you know, they, they stand up and are at attention when it comes to you. So that's how much beauty and attraction or how much, you know, handsome, how handsome, uh, or, um, you know, dapper someone may find you. So let's see what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios. May have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. And we have five change. So everything is changing. Things are about to change, beloved. Embrace it. Change is inevitable. I feel communication is going to spark a change as well. I was picking up on that energy. Like I just felt like there's going to be some sort of conversation. Because remember, Mary opened up the reading saying it's on. So, you know, maybe, and, I, and and as I was expounding at that time, I was saying like, maybe there's some good news coming in. Maybe there's some sort of call, you know, you're going to get the news that something's, you know, it's a go, um, or so it's a red light. But I feel like this also shows like somebody has been changing, you know, they've been changing, they've been growing, they've been maturing. This is the Hierophant yet again. I feel your lives are going to change um, beyond your wildest dreams, beyond your deepest desires. Like you're going to really... Um, be very astounded as to uh the depth of this new connection i feel like it's leading to marriage someone is matured something like beautiful like it's like you have rebirth they have this 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 um change that they've been making on themselves this is that same person that you're attracting because their number was five what we have on the bottom of the deck completion so this is the completion and the wrapping up of a cycle. I've literally said every ending denotes a new beginning. So that's why that new beginning just, you know, showed because there was really some, you know, some, some, some pain, you know, and we know that because the rebirth. So there was a lot of, of traumas, a lot of, of, of drama, you know, a lot of, you know, wounds that you've had to uh, heal from that you suffered from, you know, at a young age, but that cycle is completing. 
you know that cycle is now completing there's something beautiful in store for you all and it's because you've done the work I feel like you know you all know that there's been this energy of like reflecting back on the past and seeing just how far you've come you know and after that reflection after that time of assessment it's like now you're going to to be more um, more inspired to to go after what you want oh wow and and that hawk that was a hawk so the hawk just took off remember I was just telling you that there was look he's about to fly right over my car wow beautiful that's beautiful oh wow I love it I love it I love it I love it so that's that's powerful in and of itself because we have the SOS being and this is called tell me if you still care and remember you know what's this there's about to be a, a call I feel like this phone call is gonna change everything and with that hawk uh, I, I'm just getting a sense this person is watching you like a hawk like this person literally like every day they wake up you're probably the first page that they go click on uh, you know your first your, your site whatever social media platforms they go to see what you got going on um, you know this is the type of person that that keeps tabs uh, they, they you know even if they don't um, have that type of access like if you don't even have social media or whatever it's like maybe this is someone that just merely thinks of you every day or speaks your name or thinks about you every day or th just, there's, there's just this this um energetic pull you know there's some there's some synergy or some chemistry uh that is sent you know etherically you know um you know uh, uh, there's a frequency beloved and and like i said in the beginning we're all electromagnetic beings so y'all could be picking up on this energy but th this guardedness that you are feeling i feel like that is going to also uh subside um, if this is your energy, if you are blocked off, because I was getting a sense of like you being very guarded, very blocked off, or someone was being too logical, you know, too too um, logical, and spirit was saying, look, you know, use your heart. So that's about being more emotionally intelligent and not just thinking, you know, logically or thinking with the mind, or you know, it's it's sometimes it's it's about getting in that heart space, and and that's what spirit is telling you. So I feel like if there was a sense of guardedness or blocking people out. Um, you're, you're going to feel more confident in your ability um, to attract what you desire. There's not going to be a need uh, for you to um, to have such um, such blocks, if that makes sense. So so many boundaries. So let's see what is the outcome for my beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpio spirit. What is the outcome, spirit? May I have a message of peace power and protection for my beautiful Scorpios and someone is going to say tell me if you still care so that person from your past that did walk away chose another option they made some changes and they've had a change of heart and that's why with that six I was picking up that because all of your cards the 22 4 the 71 8 and the 57 3 those all reduced to six so that was that person from the past and I was saying like you know before this person could get to the point where they want to return they had to leave to begin with so they abandoned you know but they've changed they've had a change of heart change of mind they have regrets even because now they realize like they've made some sort of mistake and so what came out is 44 environment so again another double number we got a 44 we have 22 um, so this person does uh, love you they've also been healing they've experienced a lot of pain same as you remember we saw 66 so that means that they've endured the same type of pain that they may have afflicted upon you inflicted upon you but I also get a sense that this is someone you know from your past so perhaps you met this person at work in a work environment maybe you used to live in the same city town or state with this person maybe you attended school with this person maybe this was someone that you went to the same gym same you know what I'm saying like there's this sense of like you and this individual um, have planted some sort of seeds or made money together or there's there's with this environment you used to hang out perhaps chill out at each other's apartments um, watch movies you know listen to music chill out but this 44 this person is absolutely going to take action and they're coming in uh, this person loves you this is green this is associated with the heart chakra fours are associated with that heart chakra so this person does love you I feel like you love them but not only that you both have healed 
you both are so like ready for love your heart chakras are opened and ready for love and you're calling it in and it's coming and this is a pure love this is a destiny type of love this is someone that is going to be attentive and affectionate someone that is going to nurture the connection someone willing to con you know to um to be willing to um compromise with you in the relationship someone that's a great communicator someone emotionally um vested uh that will be present and available um if you have children this is the type of person that will be you know that um parental figure or you know they're not going to overstep their boundaries but they are absolutely going to be they want to 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 nurture a relationship with your children cultivate a relationship with your children because they know that those they love you they want to love your children as well it's like it's what i'm feeling is beautiful like i just feel someone very devoted you know very devoted um very just loving very kind I just get this beautiful, beautiful energy here. And I, I'm just like, oh, man. And it, it's just like there's a wish fulfillment. There's some sort of, you know, grant. You know, you're being granted something that you've asked for, um, that you've prayed for, that you've, that you've called in fervently. You may have said, you know, daily mantras, affirmations to call this in. And it is 11, 11 on the clock right now. If you can see that. 11, 11. So your twin flame is coming, beloved. Your twin flame is coming. That's that's the number of the twin flame that 11, 11 reduces to four. And we're breaking down four. That's the vibration of four, 11, 11. And this is the four, four. So you and your person see one another as, you know, the the uh their kindred spirit cosmic companion twin flame soulmate this is beautiful i love it and on the bottom of the deck we have 88 abundance i can't make this ish up you are gonna have emotional fulfillment financial fulfillment you're going to be very successful even in your life you're just going to have material spiritual prosperity is what i'm feeling what i'm hearing the seven is showing me like there's just progress there's success there's movements forward i'm getting that chariot energy someone's rushing into you there could be good news coming in and this coming plent is plentiful i'm hearing you're going to have plentiful this is beautiful the blessings will be plentiful is what i'm hearing this is like self-sufficient. You're going to be self-sufficient. This is amazing. I love this. This is beautiful. What do we have from the psychic tarot deck, beloved? Let's see what we have. I cannot make this up. I cannot. Look at this. I'm sorry for screaming in y'all ears, but you already know. Like, I like, oh my goodness. Six. And look at the number six. This is spiritual. It says what material and spiritual prosperity. And I literally just said that word verbatim. This is what you all are attracting to you. Why? Because of this major transformation and rebirth. You do not get this without going through that. This is a very very arduous process to get to our spot us a place especially as a scorpio we go through several that's why you're going to live in abundance that's why spirit said you have abundance this card showed up when we first picked up the deck then it freaking is on the bottom of the deck so this is just following you and it's because of the work. You don't get rewarded unless you do the work. I was hearing you were going to be granted a wish or granted something. Like you're going to receive a grant, a business grant, loan, something. There's some sort of abundance. And this, with this, you're going to be just so fulfilled. This is like victories. This is breakthroughs monetarily. This is living financially free. This is having more than enough. I was just picking up on the word plentiful and I see why you know this is beautiful on the split new beginnings can't make this up we just saw that 
with the numerology deck. So you have new beginnings and your new beginnings are sending you here. That's six. That's the six of wands. That's the victories. There's a celebratory moment. And this fool, this is what you did. You took the steps. You took the necessary steps to achieve some sort of goal. You took the necessary steps to close out a chapter, to start over. Like this is showing that you've closed the chapter, closed the door to your past, and you're embarking on a new voyage, a new beginning, a new start. That's why the new beginning is there because that zero, that's you taking that leap of faith or braving your light and you're manifesting something new. That's why that new beginning is there. You are the conduit of change. You have completely transformed and now reap your rewards, beloved. Reap the rewards from your, do, from your hard work. I love this. Look at the light. Just give me the light. Now you see the light. Now you have the clarity. I was picking up like a dark period. You went through a very dark period in your life. But now, you know, the clouds are dissipating and the, the sun's breaking through. And the truth has prevailed. You know, you've discovered the truth about yourself. You've discovered that you are the conduit of change because you set your intention and manifest whatever desired outcome you want. This is you wishing on that star. There goes the eight. And remember, I was saying there was like a, a wish coming in. I was picking it up with that eight, that same eight. So there's something being granted, some sort of wish, some sort of communication. This is something that's like, it's coming in quicker than you realize because this is a shooting star. And the light, see that? Like someone sees something clearly, this, that, that's that epiphany. And which with epiphanies, you know, you're going to take action. You're, you're going to, you know, whatever download you received, you're going to move. And we just saw 1111. So I feel like you have a twin flame coming in. They're going to communicate. There goes the ace of swords. They're going to cut to the chase, clear the air, speak their truth. And this is going to provide you the clarity on how they feel. They were, they're getting rid of someone that may have brought a lot of conflict, challenges, confusion. I was saying that there was all of that in the past, just dealing with a lot of, you know, conflicting energy you know maybe even competitive energy there was a lot of challenges a lot of obstacles but now perhaps someone sees the light someone may have had to cut certain people things off out of their life this is also just you know a changed perspective maybe there was some sort of uh, you know some sort of deception that took place or occurred in a relationship which caused a lot of obstacles and challenges for someone to navigate you know out of that situation and now they've learned to you know not only uh cut themselves free from what no longer serves them or from the toxicity but they also see things from a different perspective now they have you know the truth you know the truth always sets you free see that this is building and and, and nurturing and cultivating new relationships new partnerships this is someone that's coming in with the intention to build to grow this is someone that sees you as someone who is, you know, a great partner, someone that's very stable, someone that's very, you know, look at that. Didn't I speak on patience? This is like literally planting that seed that I was talking about in the beginning of the reading. When you plant that seed, you water it, you nurture it, you culture it, you cultivate it. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you put your hands in that soil. It, you see it start to bloom, blossom and grow. And that's literally what you are being rewarded for because you did that work. That's like the intention I was speaking on earlier. And look at that. Partnerships. This is what someone wants to and desires to do in a partnership with you. This is someone that sees you as, you know, a star. Someone who has healed yourself. Someone who has, you know, turned your pain into power. Turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower. Someone that has literally watched you you know, you know, learn to co-create with earth. That star is naked. So she's, she bears her soul. She's learned everything. Look at that. There goes the reward. And this is a reward from spirit. This is a reward because what have, what have you been doing out here? You know, you, you've been out here grinding. You've been out here like healing and expanding and maturing and, and, and learning. This is powerful. And this is another eight. 
So this is the, the blessings. This is the answered prayers, the wishes, the miracles. This is really beautiful energy. And I love when spirit confirms what I say, beloved. I love it. So let's cut the debt. Oh, man. I don't want to mess that up. All right, I got to do it like this. Uh huh. Uh I like to cut three times. I just like three as a number to do it. Uh huh. Duh. And one more time. Bum. 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 Bottom of the deck is going to clarify the overall energy, and we have. Material and spiritual prosperity. I can't make this up. Y'all saw me just shuffle the hell out of the cards. And you also saw me, saw me cut the deck three times. So this is a beautiful energy. This is why you're being rewarded. That seven and that six breaks down to 13. So that's the death. You went through a major change. A death of a mindset. Death in your family you may have lost loved ones you may have gone through a lot of pain trauma but you've transformed you've evolved someone new we have joey badass this is called zip codes so some of you all had to move and relocate reinvent yourselves i feel like there is some sort of move some sort of blessing some sort of opportunity that's also going to present itself because because six i'm getting like the six of swords along with the six of wands so there's like victories and breakthroughs, but there's also some sort of trend, like some um, relocation. Some of you all could be re relocating, moving, because you may get the news of some some um, some sort of uh, unexpected income, a blessing, a check. Uh, I was picking up on like a check, like maybe taxes. Some of you all may be getting some sort of grants or loans, but whatever the case may be, spirit is blessing you with this uh, prosperity here. This is what you all will be experiencing, will be having very soon. I just get this because this has been coming out so much uh, in the cards lately, like you've been getting a lot of messages of miracles, of, of, of abundance, of prosperity, of financial blessings, and this is it, it doesn't get any better than that. So your angels, ancestors, and guides are very pleased with the works that you have been doing. You've been out here working. Some of you all uh, have been traveling, um, helping people, or maybe you have been like whatever services you provide. It, it, it helps people from all walks of life, from all over the globe. Maybe you have an online business um, and your services are, you know, people patronize your services from all over the country, from all over the world. Um, we have Mary J. Blige. Uh, this is called My Life. So yeah, yeah, you you all may you know start. You may have learned some sort of skill set or technique from you know whatever you experienced in your life, whatever you've healed from. Um, it's like it has helped you to develop some skill set um, or talent to help others. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you all experienced some sort of trauma in your childhood, which could have um, motivated and encouraged you to go to school to perhaps become a therapist or psychiatrist or self, uh, you know, what do you call them? Um, life coach or, you know, whatever the case may be, a Reiki healer or maybe uh, some sort of sound therapist. Like you, you, you took your experience and it, it, it was out of your passion uh, and out of your own experience to which you felt motivated to also um, provide, you know, the, the, the help or the healing, you know, that was needed, that was required. Ashe. So we have crown chakra here. I cannot make this up. I, this is what's on the bottom of the deck, beloveds. Crown chakra. We've been talking about the crown chakra because we saw that 16, that 7. And that is your crown. I was building on, you know, the base chakra and you taking that base chakra all the way up from the basement, all the way up to the crown. And voila, this is what we have on the bottom of the deck. We're about to pull the energy for the person that you are attracting. And so with them, they are up in their head about you, but they also dream of you. They send you messages telepathically and intuitively. Why? They know that you are intuitive. Because remember, this is your energy. This is how they feel about you, intuition. And they also have been sending you, you know, there's a lot of messages perhaps through music. 
So if you listen to music, maybe there's a certain song that they have sent, or maybe they're hearing a certain song which makes them think of you. And this is like a medley. It says My Life, Real Love. And um, and this is some sort of live performance by Mary J. Blige. So this person does love you because with that real love, I feel like this person is realizing now that, you know, they had real love with you. That they really loved you. So let's tap in. So who is this person? Our beautiful Scorpios are attracting. May I have a message of peace, power and protection spirit. Those fell down. See this? This is a tower that they're experiencing in their life. They're also very bored. See that? I was feeling darkness. I said darkness. And if you look at this house, it's very dark. Like inside of here. You know, they're, they're walking inside when they should be outside. So this could be someone that's very guarded, very blocked off. Um, maybe this is why they had to do some healing. Uh, this this could be a masculine energy, a divine masculine. If it's not, this could be a feminine energy. But someone is just like stuck in the house, not going outside. It's very dark. It's a dark energy. If it's not a dark energy, like you're in a dark room, then it just means that there's dark energies around you. So you need to clean, clear, like get that funky, you know, woe is me, lack mentality out of here. Because, you know, you are what you think, you know, and that's why spirit is showing signs like, look, you know, it's time to like unblock these these chakras. Um, it's time to ground yourself, and you can only do that through meditation or through going out in nature. Um, so this person is being told to go out in nature, to go outside, because uh, you get fresh perspectives, you get new new ideas, um, you receive downloads, you see certain animal totems, you're breathing in that prana. You know, looks like I'm gonna be able to take my walk anyway, and I love that because that's what I wanted to do. But yeah, <laughs> sun is out. I told y'all the sun was coming out because I could tell. Um, but so we have that uh, discontent and bored. But this person that you are attracting, um, they are really up in their head. They have seven and thirty-two, uh, which is that uh, fifty-seven that I had showed y'all before. Remember, I mentioned teaching and learning card, and then. The teaching and learning card came out. Well, remember that same five, seven that I was showing y'all before. That's your person's energy. The five. This is the music. And then we got the seven, which is, again, that teaching and learning. So they've learned how to uh, deal with pain and loss through watching you. Uh, because this is that person that does study you, does watch you. Um, and they've seen how graceful you've um, emerged like you've emerged graceful you've emerged powerful uh confident even and this is something um that's motivating and encouraging them so they could be strategizing at this time um you know how to get out of a situation because they are stuck with the devil look at this devil here they got a devil that they're dealing with with temptation um so they are uh feeling very blocked they're feeling very, you know, stuck and stagnant, uh, maybe energetically even. They could be dealing with like an energy vampire. Um, you know, the devil is manipulative. The devil is a liar. Uh, the devil deceives. So he speaks with a forked tongue. Uh, but he's also obsessive. He's also someone um, that schemes, scams, plots, and plans. So someone was dealing with that energy. I also feel someone's obsessed over you like obsessively watches you uh you have a dark energy that is like really uh, may come around and try to tempt you um try to lure you in i'm getting a sense of but be mindful be mindful to you know trust your intuition as the cards are saying so let's tap in and i was expounding on the teaching and learning and it's sitting right there so this is remember this is how this person had felt about you and that was that card. So let's see. So, um, okay. So, wow. And we have su suffering in silence. So someone is going through the motions here. So how they feel about you is conflict and defeat. So they feel very defeated, you know, and they also have these, com they feel conflicted, mentally conflicted. Remember we had uh, Vivian Green saying emotional roller coaster. So this person is very conflicted and I feel it has a lot to do with this devil that's looming. So this devil could be doing some sort of spell work. This devil could be manipulating someone's energy. I was expounding a lot on, you know, a wrapping your hair and putting a crystal or a stone 
um, you know, underneath your wrapping and just wearing that at night as you rest or whenever you're doing cardomancy or whatever. Um, we have Nazi Dread playing by Bob Marley. Um, also, I'm, I'm hearing like, um, you know, also, dang, I got it and it left that fast. Some of you definitely may wear locks and that's why Spirit is telling you uh, to wrap your hair as well. Um, be sure to wrap your hair. You may have people who are, um, you know, like evil eyes and stuff like that. Jealousy. Your hair is energy. It's like your antennas. So it's, it's good to um, wrap it up when you're doing like cardamancy sometimes as well. But I, I just get a strong sense like somebody's obsessively, you know, watching you. This is someone who's, um, you know, not a good person. This is very uh, codependent energy. Someone who is uh, very toxic. Someone who's very deceitful. Um, someone that will do anything to get what they want. Uh, so, you know, maybe this is why there's been this sense of, um, you know, you having to heal, you know, from some sort of deception or some sort of uh, trickery. Maybe there was some sort of a karmic that you've had to break free from um, with this conflict and defeat. Uh, but we do see, look at that. I, I mentioned solar plexus and there it is. So this is what you did. Like you braved your light. I was speaking earlier, like you know, your, your, your solar plexus is like your third, you know, that's like your second brain. Some would call it the first brain, but it's also like, this is how you'll know, um, when there's some healing to be done, because you, will you brave your light in those instances when you need to, uh, will you, you know, confront your fears? Uh, will you go after what you want? You know, that's really what that solar plexus is about. It's about strength. It's about courage. It's about wise don't. And you only obtain that by doing, you know, the work necessary, you know, from that, that, that root work, you know, I'm talking about like that root work, you got to do that root work, that base chakra has to be unblocked, you have to heal from that. And when you do that, then you can shine this, this solar plexus is the second, it's like the sun that shines within us. So it gives us that motivation, that vigor, that illumination, that power, that vitality, um, you know, to persevere through and push through whatever. Uh, and this is why you got this firm foundation, the four. So this person does feel like you're very strong, very solid, um, like you have stability in your life, that you're very self-sufficient in your life. Uh, this person does what's hidden is someone suffering in silence. And I feel like it's because this is, you know, they're, they're kind of overprotected, guarded um, up in their head as well. Remember, we had uh, use your heart and not your mind. So instead of, you know, suffering in silence, it's like, you know, um, be more emotionally uh, in equilibrium, balanced. Um, someone could be from Jamaica uh, but with not to dread, you know, I just feel like, you know, maybe someone is a lot is, it, you know, someone could chief a lot of herb too. Uh, 420 is Bob Marley's birthday. And that's usually a lot of people celebrate that day. Oh, a beautiful blue. It looked violet, almost beautiful violet bird just flew past me. So pretty. Wow. I'm seeing all kind of animal totems out here today. Beautiful. That was lovely. So yeah, this person does think of you a lot, Scorpios, dreams of you, daydreams of you. Think It's like they, your name is always on the tip of this person's tongue. You know? Your name is always on the tip of this person's tongue. And we got Purple Haze playing by um, Jimi Hendrix. I didn't even see that. So this person absolutely is, you know, maybe you're an herb head or they're an herb head. Like they like to chief some, you know, Mary J, you know, blah, blah, blah. like they, they like that Chiba Chiba. So, you know, but with this suffering and silence, silence, maybe they're also, they're smoking too much and just in their head, maybe it's making them paranoid. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's an, another thing is like someone could be um, chiefing a lot of green because Bob Marley and then Jimmy, Her Jimmy Hendrix are both playing, you know, back to back. Um, I just feel, you know, and they both play the, the guitar as well. So maybe this person is a, you know, they play the guitar. Maybe this is someone who loves Jimi Hendrix or Bob Marley. They may have a poster. I'm hearing a poster or something to that degree. But someone chiefs a lot of green, whether this is you, Scorpio, or the person that you're attracting, you know, and they could be getting up in their head. That's why they're suffering in silence because maybe it's making them penoid. 
you know what I'm talking about? Like they, they just getting all paranoid and sh ish. And it's like they're not they not communicating. But I feel like there's gonna be some sort of change because they do break through and they will communicate, express themselves. Why is this change here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios and who they were attracting me? I have a message of peace, power, and protection. Why is this change card here for this person the Scorpio is attracting to them? All right, we still got this uh discontent and boredom. And remember what I said about complacency. There's nothing worse than this. Like all the, the of all the opportunities, possibilities that you have, this is what you choose to do with yourself is sitting around self-loathing, moping, complaining. It's like, yo, if you don't get up, get out and get something like freaking, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, what, what, what is this energy here? This, this is like self-imposed. Like nobody feels sorry for you. Like you got to snap out of it. Like this is not healthy. It's not. It's, it's, you're not going to get out of this until you get yourself out of that. You know what I'm talking about? So the, this discontent and bored, how could you be when the world is as massive as it is? When they, when you still got life, breath, when you still have the ability, you know, to move around at your own free will. It's like, and this is what you choose to do with your time. Like, beloved, didn't I tell y'all you had a wish fulfillment coming in? This is right underneath that. So I feel like when somebody does finally step outside of their comfort zone, that's when... The, the blessings will pour in. But look what we have here. Change. There's a positive change coming in. There's positive change that's coming because you all have gained your spiritual strength. Just as I said, these are the cards that are clarifying this change for what's hidden in the energy. Not only do you have that spiritual strength, you're being recognized and rewarded for being a spiritual practitioner, healer, shaman, light worker, musician, artist. You know, whatever you do, spirit is rewarding you because, like I said, whatever you've gotten yourself out of, however you've managed to heal, whatever you do, you know, that is going to lead to some sort of success in a spiritual career. You all will be able to obtain a lot of success embarking on something that you're naturally very passionate and naturally gifted in that's what spirit is saying throat chakra didn't i say somebody is going to communicate they're going to open up their throat chakra this is someone that has some sort of change perspective they see something differently this is spirit giving them some sort of download and them saying okay you know them learning something we have orange juice jones the rain so the rain is also water. Water cleanses, water purifies, water is very healing. So someone has had some sort of healing. Maybe someone has done a spiritual bath. Maybe someone has just gone through some sort of purge. And that was the change that was necessary. That's the change that they made. And that's why now they see some sort of, they have some sort of clarity or they have some sort of, um, they muster up the strength, so to speak, to, uh, to communicate, to express something. We have victories and success. I can't make this up. I literally said there was going to be a victory or a major breakthrough. I was picking up on that energy with the six, and that's what I'm seeing there. So there's a beautiful, and look at that. It's because you've manifested something. This is the eight, hope, remaining hopeful, remaining optimistic. This is that energy of you are the one that set the intention. You believed, you sent up the prayers, the petitions, the, the daily affirmations, the confirmations, whatever it was that you did that was habitual. Like I said, you can't just plant a seed and forget about it. You have to feed it, you gotta nurture it, you gotta speak to it, you gotta cultivate it, you gotta set intention, you gotta give it the attention and intention it needs and requires so that it can grow. And that's exactly what you see, it's growing right here. This is something that's growing from your hand because you manifested it. This is beautiful. I love this reading, yo. I love it. So the wish fulfillment is wanting to show. So you got blessings coming in. Look at all that water. These waterfalls are showing me that there's like going to be so much emotional fulfillment and joy and peace and happiness and elation. You're going to be so satisfied. And right underneath that is love. So you have a beautiful love story developing, unfolding. It's being written right now. I feel like you're going to fall and in love or rise in love. So let's see, why is this 44 environment here? I can't make this ish up. Look at authority. This is the divine masculine, the emperor that I was speaking to. So look at all these cards that just flew out that wishes to expound for 44. And look what flew out first. Spiritual uh, union here. This is a twin flame. 
I was saying that because we have this 4-4. Four, 4 four is the vibration of 11-11. And so you both are very independent, self-sufficient. I just saw that blue bird yet again. This person is going to express a message of love. They're going to open up their heart chakra and they're going to be vulnerable. And that's why Spirit was saying, use your heart and not your mind. Don't use that moment when someone is expressing their truth to be right. You know, to prove a point or to be in your ego. Use your heart. Be emotionally intelligent in that moment. F treat someone in that moment how you would want someone to treat you. If you put yourself in a vulnerable state to express your truth and how you would want someone to uh, receive that message from you. Would you want someone to use that as an opportunity to turn things around to say you know, to, to put them in a, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, use that moment to be intelligent, emotionally intelligent and not right. And that it's really like spirit, in other words, is telling you to uh, not, don't be egotistical in that moment. Because someone is really stepping outside of their comfort zone to express this message, to express these feelings. This person has suffered a lot. They are really up in their head so much about this situation because this is that same person that was discontent and bored. This is that same person that's, you know, what was that other card like with this disruption here? So th th like I said, like, you know, the de mind is the devil's playground. And so someone's absolutely, um, oh, wow. Yeah, someone's absolutely dealing with um, a lot of like confusion. They're trying to make a decision. They're trying to figure something out. So they're up in their head and they're into minds because they're confused about something. You know, that's why that obstacles and choices, you know, decisions uh, card came out when I was clarifying or pulling the card for your person. So they really um, are feeling bound, you know, bound by something. Um, and they're learning to like they're seeing like whatever isn't growing it's dead they feel a very strong connection and you see how it's like you two are like minds in this person's um you know as far as this person is concerned they feel like there's a likeness mentally they feel like there's the synergy that calls them to you draws them to you they feel this love look at this material harvest I cannot make this up. You all are receiving a blessing, a reward. You have recognition and reward. You have material prosperity. I mean, look at this. Recognition and reward. You came out already like the Empress. And I literally told y'all, I felt like there was blessings coming in. Like you guys are going to be rewarded. Partnerships along with the alliances, building and nurturing and cultivating new relationships, new love ships, new workships, new not um, dynamics with people. And it's going to lead to success. Look at this light. The light is shining. Your light shines bright. You are the sun. I feel this 19 is showing. There's some light being shown. There's light um, at the end of a very dark tunnel because I was picking up on darkness earlier. Like it was a dark period. And now the light is shining bright. Now there's some clarity. Someone feels happier. This is joy. This is peace. This is, you know, feeling a sense of true contentment. And look at that power. You took your power back. This is strength. This is like braving certain karmic lessons and, and learning from those lessons. This is also like infinite supply, like whatever you've sent out, it's coming back. You've learned to become that alchemist. You've learned to utilize the elements around you, like the magician. You set intention. You, you are very powerful, very strong. And there goes that emperor. Remember, I was expounding on, excuse me, my throat just got blocked for some reason. I was expound, expounding on the emperor in the beginning of the reading, just speaking to us coming into this new astrological uh, year and Aries being the energy and ruling the head. And then what did we see? We saw the crown chakra. We saw, you know, all the energy showing this power that you have, this, this sensitivity, the intuition card. I was speaking to the intuition. And I even said the person that you are you know, attracting to you. They're very, you know, up in their head. This is self, 
you know, self uphold, uh, self um, imposed, and then we have the mental conflict come out. So this person is really like, you know, stuck in two minds. But the truth of the matter is, they love you. You know, this person really truly loves you. They desire you. They just don't know how to come in and acquire you. <laughs> they, that's why they're trying to, you know, really uh, getting to a point where they're. Um, they could be like, you know, just sitting and, and, and planning and plotting and strategizing a means and a method to, to, you know, come in. So we're going to get a couple more messages. See what we got coming in, going out, going on. So far, so good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. You know, I love to see the rewards. I was feeling reward. I was, was feeling, you know, recognition. I was feeling celebrations and new beginnings, new opportunities. This is just fresh new energy like new fresh energy so let's tap in beloveds let's see what we got coming and going out going on all right oh my goodness lord here comes the sun da, 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 da. it's all right love it love it love it love it the sun is shining on you guys look how beautiful that is this is the epitome of freedom, feeling free, being free. This is being like, you know, feeling like a child again, feeling a sense of like, no worries. This is also like a new beginning, a new start, illumination, clarity, seeing something for the first time. We got Wu-Tang Clan gravel pit. If some of you all are into Wu-Tang, yo, you have to watch the Wu series, man, the jewels that they are dropping. Oh my goodness. It, 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 it is so powerful. That show. I love it. I love it. It's on Hulu. And, um, this, this third season, man, I, I'm, I'm like falling in love with it. I really, I might, you know, say this might be one of my favorite because they're really getting into the nitty gritty of like, you know, speak it to those who are awake. You know, sending them messages, subliminal messages. You know, it's like hidden in plain sight. And um, it's almost like boondocks. You know, they, they make a parody of something. They make a joke of something. But it's really something serious. It's something for you to ponder. You know, it could be a point for you to ponder on. And that's what I'm getting a strong sense of. Like with this with this Wu series. It's just like, it, I, I love it. They drop in jewels in every episode. It's just brilliant. It's brilliant, you know, but um, I digress. So the sun is out, beloved. Beautiful days ahead. This is like when the sun breaks out, everything is just, it's, it's, it, 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 you feel alive. You feel vibrant. You feel happy. See that? Whoever this is, wasn't I saying something about like, you know, um, suffering in silence or waking up during those witching hours in the middle of the night? You know, that's what this is. You know, this is resting on a heavy mind. You know, and that has a lot to do with, you know, perhaps this devil that could be potentially uh, manipulating someone's energy. Or maybe someone is just thinking so much about a person that it's very obsessive and it's causing them a lot of like confusion, confliction, like stress, agony. But the sun showing up is saying that everything is going to be all good. Everything is already all right, but everything is good, you know, because the sun is just bringing a sense of, uh, you know, the illumination that's necessary. And with Wu-Tang Clan playing um, Gravel Pit, I feel like, you know, this is something or someone um, that really is trying to figure out how to dig themselves out of a situation. And so, it, you know, maybe they now see that you know, they, they, they're the reason why something is the way it is, or maybe they're the reason why there was the demise of a certain circumstance or why something didn't last. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like they're seeing something um, for the first time, like they're able to see something for the first time. But spirit is going to get them through. We got the um, temperance here and the six of cups. Didn't I mention the six of cups? And with temperance there, this is about good things take time to create. You can see in this depiction of the temperance, it's a moon. He's like got the moon and the sun. So this is about balancing, you know, oneself, the balance, the mind, you know, balancing that uh, yin and that yang energy, that feminine and masculine energy. And um, literally, that's what twos are all about, which is why they're up in their head trying to choose 
trying to make a decision. The sun is a luminous. The moon represents shadow. So this person has to learn to balance their light and shadow, uh, not allow their light to cast more shadows, but balance that. You like you got to learn to um, to find that emotional and spiritual equilibrium. And uh, they could potentially be working on this, you know, slowly and surely, according to Jill Scott. Um, yep, they finally walk away. Remember, I mentioned the Ten of Swords because we saw that Ace of Swords. And so I was feeling like this person, whoever that person was, um, you know, that was going through some sort of, you know, uh, traumatic ending. It's like they're finally walking away and they're going to have the clarity. And that clarity is going to allow them the opportunity to cut themselves free from, you know, all of the illusions, all of the negativity. Uh, they're going to work very hard at achieving some sort of goal or this is them just coming back wanting and desiring to work together with you to build and nurture that alliance, that partnership, that connection. Um, this is also your energy and vibration. Very busy, very studious, um, you know, learning and, and look at all these different projects that you got going on simultaneously. So you're booked and busy. You are very successful. You could be crafting candles. You could be making spiritual baths. Um, you could be doing like um, readings. You could be craft, uh, making music. Um, you get a lot of downloads from spirit. I feel like you also um, get ideas from spirit. This person from your past is looking at you from a completely different lens, different scope. They see you as someone different. Um, this 12, remember um, that 12, that 7, and that 5, this person, this is their energy because this breaks down to 12. And that 12 is the hanged man in traditional tarot. And there goes the hanged man. So whatever they did in the past, they're now reflecting, like I said, if they were around people just kind of like appeasing the pleas or they were codependent, you know, or they were just going along to get along, not really living their truth. They're now seeing things in a completely different way. You know, um, they're now appreciating the things that they may have judged in the past. They may be appreciating those things now but there's some sort of illumination clarity um this is like they're seeing you in a whole new light perhaps you know they're seeing you master your craft working on your uh projects working on your businesses raising your children living your life to your fullest and 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 that's something that's that you know admirable um so look at this magician here so there's, this is beautiful because I get a sense like this person, because remember, we had teaching and learning. And so they're seeing you manifest all these new things into your life. And so now they're learning this process of manifestation. And so they're learning because you're teaching them how to manifest. This also could be an energy of those around you that could be kind of like watching and then trying to manipulate your energy or trying to uh, send a psychic attack or do a, a spell. So be mindful of that as well. Uh, because remember that devil came out. All right. So let's get this message. We're going to clarify all. And then we're going to wrap it up. All right. So we have in the bottom of the deck, seven of cups. See that? So you're going to have a lot of choices, a lot of options. Uh, I feel like this is really telling you like, don't just go, um, you know, because there, there's going to be a lot of options, but this is really about choosing wisely. Um, I also feel like you ex you went through some sort of transformation because someone treated you like an option. You know, like someone may have rejected you because they had all these other options. There was some level of confuse, uh, confuse, uh, um, confusion, uh, but you have since like you've overcome that situation. You know, it completely changed you and it changed you in a way where you had to learn to put you first because these are both sevens on this card, the seven of cups and then the seven, um, you know, the seven of uh, rebirth that breaks down to four, which is, uh, uh, I mean, 14, which is five. So this is showing like, you know, that's what taught you. That was the growing pain for you. You know, that Hierophant moment for you was like learning from something that could have really caused you a lot of pain, could have caused you uh, a lot of hurt because someone may have rejected you 
uh, by treating you like a, you know, an option or juggling you with other options. Um, and this is why you're being rewarded uh, because of everything that you've learned from that from that experience. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So someone could have been in a marriage. Someone could have been, you know, perhaps engaged or living with someone. Um, and this is why this this feeling of of like you know being closed, you know, being blocked off or being um, stuck in a situation um, is, is why it's so prevalent here. Uh, but this person learns to free themselves again by watching you. Uh, so whatever this is, whether you create music or maybe, uh, you know, there was some, some sort of download they may have received through the music, maybe they're clairaudient. I feel like they learned by watching you. They learned by, you know, keeping tabs on you. They were living with another person or maybe a wife and they felt very stuck in this, in, you know, in this relationship. Um, this is the tower here. So this tower moment unfolds because maybe someone realizes, uh, that someone is only um, you know, using them for, you know, stability, you know, it's about money. Um, we have come home and this is, um, Anderson Pock featuring Andre 3000. So this was definitely someone who wanted someone to stay with them. So with come home, they may have gotten back with an ex. They may have moved back into a home with an ex and that's why you felt blocked off or why you may have felt rejected at that time. Um, why is 32 music and 16 disruption here for um, this person? Our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them. They have a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. My nose is itching like crazy. And we have the Knight of Wands. See that? So this was a very flighty energy. Uh, the Knight of Wands is in and out. He's not committed to anything. He's all about fun. He's all about the passion. He does things without thinking about it. So he rushes in. Um, and that's what this person did. This person may have felt you feeling, may, may have like really been kind of like in and out with you, was really hot and heavy and passionate, and then would go cold, go, you know, ghost on you. Um, with the Six of Cups here, this is definitely that person from your past. So how they feel about you is they feel this love. They want to return, just as I said. Remember, I picked up the Six of Cups. You know this person, whoever this is, because you have history, may have known this person when they were younger. Whatever the case may be, uh, this person desires to return because whoever they they walked away from you for, whoever they went back to, it's like they feel stuck and stagnant. It's like whatever isn't growing is dead. And I feel this person is learning that by watching you as you just went through a death and transformed and emerged someone powerful and emerge. I said powerful and emerge someone powerful. And, uh, you know, a master manifester. So it's like they're learning from you. So why is 22 intuition, 71 health, um, teaching and learning, hot chakra, conflict and defeat, temptation here. But how this person, our beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them feel. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. I can't make this ish up. And what flew out is temperance. They're being very patient. Why? Because they're trying to find that balance, that harmony. They are trying to get that in their own lives. They also, they see you as the yin to their yang. They feel a lot of passion. Look at all this passion. This is a, a sexual attraction. This is a spiritual attraction. Like she has like um, what appears to be like a bow and arrow, or it could look, uh, it looks very much like um, the, um, the scale on the Libra card. So I, I'm getting a strong sense like this person, whoever this is with the lovers, um, they, they just feel like a whole lot of burning desire, passion, uh, fire for you. They love you. They see they could see themselves with you. And, and I get yin yang with this because the moon and the sun. The moon is all about illumination and the sun is all about intuition emotion you know and i feel like this is divinely ordained i feel like your angels your ancestors are bringing this union into fruition we have uh, genius of love by tom tom so yeah this is a destiny type of love this is a twin flame because this is called genius of love this is powerful 
And with the lovers here, that's beautiful. Yo, didn't I say on her arm? I looked on underneath the deck and I was like, yo, that looks like the scale on the justice card and the justice is right underneath that. So this is gonna be, this is, everything is working out in your favor. I feel like everything is happening in divine timing and in divine order as it's supposed to. There's gonna be communication. And, and what I see here is the communication will be balanced. That's what's going to change the direction of this connection is the communication. Someone is going to express something. We got genius of love. So this person is going to express something perhaps in a very genius way. And it's going to capture your heart. It's going to make your heart flutter. It's going to make you realize that this person is very serious when they say they love you. Because the way they extend or show the love. Why is this five change uh, rewards and recognition, solar plexus, throat chakra, uh, firm foundation, spiritual strength. Um, here for what's hidden in the energy. May I have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. May I have a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful message. All right, so we got the page of pentacles. So this is like, you know, some incoming news about finances. See that seven of wands? This is staying grounded like a tree, balanced, you know, being uh, grounded, balanced, and in alignment. This is also protecting your peace. This is how someone sees, you know, um, what's hidden is you're like very guarded. You're very protected. You're also, if you look, that solar plexus is like shining. And remember what I said, the solar plexus is like the sun that shines within. So, you know, that solar plexus has to be healthy in order. It has to be like... You know, because that re represents your vitality, you know. And so when your core isn't as strong, it does affect, you know, it, it, it does affect other parts of your physiology, you know, your phys physicalities, I guess you could say. But this 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 is like you are in harmony. You know, it's illuminating, it's pulsating, it's vibrating and you are strong, you are courageous, you are wise. You know, this is a beautiful energy and you're not allowing anybody, anything to disturb or distract your groove. And that's why spirit is rewarding you. And they're recognizing how strong, how firm you've stood erect. You stood perpendicular in your square. You stood up for what you believed in. You stood your ground. And that's why you've obtained the spiritual strength. So some of you all, like I said, you could be yogis. You know, maybe you are, um, you've been meditating a lot and that centers you. You know, meditation is the, you know, that's the communication of the gods. You know, you receive that direct communication from your ancestors. This is powerful. So this page of pentacles is showing me this is the start of something new. This is someone coming in, you know, someone very practical, very grounded. Someone very intentional, someone very uh, invested, someone that sees your worth, sees the value of the connection and desires to nurture it, work on it collectively. So what's this 44 environment, spiritual strength, power, light, um, material harvest, partnerships and alliances. Oh man, let's not forget material harvest, the blessings. Hope card, mental conflict, and victories and success. Look at this. You guys, I mean, it's, it's like this is the outcome. This is your outcome. So why, what is, why are these cards here for the outcome spirit? They have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. Finish the shuffle, bottom of the deck. Got the king of wands. And I mentioned the king of wands not the king of wands, but the emperor. But the king of wands is a very confident energy. Very attractive. This is someone very passionate. This is someone who goes after what he wants. He's like the, you know, he, he's like the head. You know, he rules um, the head. So he knows who he is. He's very sure. Very sexy energy. Look at the four wands right underneath that. There goes that 1111 right there. We saw 1111. There goes the 1111, the vibration of four. There's someone very passionate, very sexy, very attractive, very strong, powerful, 
an alpha male or an alpha female that's coming in. They have their eyes on you. This is someone that's like locked and loaded is what I'm hearing. Oh yeah, he got his eyes on you, beloved. Look at how look at the stare down. You think a Scorpio's uh, you know, um eyes are intense. Look at that. The intensity of that. And this is because why? What did we say? We spoke on the death. There goes the death, the transformations. You've emerged someone completely different. It's like you you don't it's like no one can recognize you. It's like your 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 powers are out of this world. It's like you're unrecognizable because of the transformations, because of the changes. Your your whole vibration has shit it's just changed it's evolved so the cards that flew out you have strength and you have the ace of wands and this is everything that we spoke to the strength is what you had to go through you had to stand in your power and i feel like someone is going to muster up the strength courage and wisdom to come towards you to take action for this new chance new start new opportunity because they love you. This is a new beginning. The Ace of Wands. That could be someone literally manifesting you into their life. You know? This could be someone literally like setting intention to call you in. This is someone that cares a lot about you. Someone that loves you. We got Atlantic Star Secret Lovers. So this could be someone who had uh, an ex on the side. I was picking up somebody who was perhaps still living with another person. You know, kind of in and out flighty. Maybe you were the secret lover and you didn't realize it. You see how this crown chakra, it's like there's a flame. So this person does dream a lot, think a lot of you. This person may also get uh, erect. They get a hard on or they get very hot and bothered. This is someone that may self you know, self-pleasure, you know, is, is like fluent. And that could be why I was picking up on somebody that was constantly like, um, like somebody who was constantly um, in their head, thinking, dreaming. Um, somebody who's just like in a space where they're always, you know, like they're always in uh, this energy of, like they're always in this energy of, um, how can you say it? I just saw sirens and cars and I'm like, who the hell, what's going on over here? Oh, my bad. I got a little, you know, but um, this is like somebody who's just always in an energy of thought, like thinking of you so much that you could be picking up on it. You know, um, like I said, this could be somebody that's constantly dreaming, constantly thinking, daydreaming. You know, your your name is like your 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 name is the first name that like escapes this person's mind. You don't even realize it because like this is a secret admirer as well with secret lovers, like in their mind. You live in this person's head. Like, in their mind, you're their wife. In their mind, you're their husband, is what I'm feeling. Why did I put that there? But I feel like timing. Timing is of the um, essence. Because if you look, she has like a watch. So I feel like time is of the essence. And if you see that heart, they're going to use their heart and not their mind. And they're going to brave that. You know, they're going to come in. You know, they're going to take action. Because this 44 is giving me like the eight of wands as well going to take action they may they may travel to see you they may need to travel to see you what we have in the bottom of my deck is we have you will be the first millionaire in your family so some of you all we already see that with material and spiritual prosperity we saw recognition and reward we saw spiritual strength and i was picking up some of y'all was going to be having success in a spiritual career uh we saw victory and success we also had material harvest so these are all confirmations to this very message this is my deck so this is what spirit is saying for many of you and it's because of this transformation you've had to go through some sort of major change in order to acquire this you're not just getting this because, oh, you deserve it. You're getting it because you earned it. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. So let's pull a message for the overall energy. Why? What is the um, messages we have for the overall energy spirit? We have a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. It says, be thankful you fell down but got back up. Oh, my God. It 
flu, of course, in the crevice, but I got it. So be thankful. And didn't I say that with that transformation and that seven of cups, you fell down because maybe this really, you know, someone treating you like an option or making you feel devalued. Um, it, it, it took you down a dark place, but you literally got back up. You persevered through it and you did a complete transformation of yourself because you changed your own mind about yourself. Love is an inside job. Nobody should ever make you feel um, devalued. You should always love yourself enough to you know fill any void and that's why this financial success is here i can't make this up it says mystery material and spiritual prosperity and that's exactly what you have be thankful because you fell down but got back up and i literally said you know some of you all will start embarking on some spiritual careers based off of whatever you've learned from your own experiences your own personal experiences or your own traumas and you're going to develop some sort of spiritual career or you're going to provide some sort of services to help the masses to be like a vessel to others and that's literally what this is saying so we said we have you are uniquely made beautiful soul and we are about, about to pull a card for the person you're attracting. So this could be their opinion of you or this could be an opinion you will have of this person when you meet them or maybe when you bump into them again. Um, you will realize just how unique this person is um, or they will realize your uniqueness or, you know, your rarity. Because I was picking up like someone feels like you're a rare breed. So let's tap in. So who is this person? Our beautiful Scorpios are attracting. May I have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Message flipped over. And it is, where are you? There you are. What is that? So it says, words of spells, spells bind. Mind your words. Stay protected. So didn't I tell you this devil is doing something to this person? It's keeping this person blocked, stuck, stagnant, bound. They feel very bound. Very, um, you know, they can't move. They can't make a move. And remember that devil showed up. And right now we have, I want you. And so someone is wanting someone to stay with them. But this person wants you, Scorpio. This person wants you. They want you. With words of spell, spells bind, someone is definitely uh, doing some sort of spell work, doing some sort of um, manipulation of someone's energy. And that's why Spirit was saying, protect your energy. Because if someone's protecting the person that you're meant to be with, it will automatically default, by default, affect you and affect your energy. So it's imperative to protect yourself. Perhaps do a protection, a protection spell for you and the person that you are um, attracting to you as well. You know, um, but we have dream catcher, nightmares, witching hours, protection needed. I can't make this ish up. I literally said all of this. I lit everything that came out, I said it. And you saw me say it. And you heard me say it. But this is what is going on. I literally didn't even see this. And I was about to expound on, you know, manipulation of energies and spell work because of this card. And look, somebody's attacking somebody in their dream. They could be attacking you in your dreams. Someone could be having bad dreams, nightmares. Someone could be feeling stuck and stagnant. It's because their energy is being manipulated. It's being manipulated. So protect yourselves. And now this person has, you know, turned their attention to you with this temptation card here. I feel like this person is tempted to start messing with you, but maybe this person knows you're intuitive as well. Whoever your person is, they got a witch on their ass. They got some sort of witch or warlock working on their ass, manipulating their energy. It has come out one too many times. Let me give one more card for this person that Scorpios are attracting. Thank you. Oh, shh. it came back out. It came back out. And then there's a bonus message that flipped out. But you saw me. You, oh, my goodness. This person got something going on mentally. That's why this mental conflict, whoever they're dealing with is causing a lot of mental conflict. It's like their mind is being like programmed almost like they are doing some sort of like they buried this person's belongings like they're causing them all kind of angst and frustration anxiety look at this these were the two cards that were like poking out witching hours they're doing spells at witching hours and it says go deeper you haven't scratched the surface so maybe this person has had some sort of epiphany just as i um um picked up because this 32 that's like the hierophant 
So that's like this person is like, OK, let me see what's really going on. So maybe they're investigating something and they're learning something and they discover like, yo, all that, you know, the, their circumstance appears to be isn't what it isn't what it appears to be. It's like they're realizing there's some sort of illusion. And we got hood blues um, playing by DMX. So this person is very sad, very hurt by whatever they discover. Let's see why is um um how does this person feel about our beautiful Scorpios? All right. Okay, something flew out dang. It says done done Finn. They feel like this is over, you know, and I feel like they think it's over because of whatever manipulation is taking place. We have on the bottom of the deck the Trinity life so this is really what they feel, but whoever this devil is trying to block this connection, whoever that devil is that's now turned their attention to you, this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to block a spiritual partnership connection. You are like literally meant to be with this person, but whoever their karmic is or whoever they have around them, they're manipulating this person's energy. They're manipulating their energy and they're trying to bring an ending to something that has stopped. Let's see. So with the Trinity, this is representing life. This represents masculine, feminine. It represents yin yang. And it also represents children, man, woman, child. You know, the round portion, that's the womb. That's the feminine. This portion here represents the children, the fallopian tubes. And then this is the um, masculine, the phallus. So this is showing man, woman, child. So they feel like they could, like I was saying earlier, like if you have children, whether if you bear children with this person or if you um, uh, co you know, co-create life with this person, it's like they're going to be a great father. They could see themselves having children with you. Or if you already have children and they come into your life, they could see themselves not only growing to love you, but also growing and building relationships with your children. So this is like the, this is the, the, the core of what they desire. You know, maybe something from their children from their childhood with hood blues um i feel like they you know they may have um lacked something in their childhood which is why they want to nurture that you know in their relationships they take that role of fatherhood or, or motherhood very seriously so let's get another message for this person um uh how they feel about you because that dun dun thin i don't feel like that's their words you know i feel like maybe in their mind that's what they're saying because remember they are conflicted so they could be saying yo i'm done i'm done but all these other cards are showing something quite different which is that they love you so they could be a little confused okay all right so it says do something for yourself watch a sunset take a drive purchase some lingerie um silk boxers piece of jewelry love on you so this is what they see, self-love. This is what they see when they see you. They also feel um, that you are beautiful, like you represent change. You are the very definition. It says, be the change you wish to see in the world. Each one, teach one. So you are a vessel. You are a teacher. You are a healer. That's why they were learning from you, because you provided that. All my cards are sliding down, and I'm trying to find teaching and learning, and I can't at the moment but you saw the card so you know but next we have blue heron it says the most high is watching over you and i literally saw a blue heron the other day when i took a nature walk outside um on wednesday and a blue heron actually flew from this little lake um out of the water and into like you know the trees uh but it flew right in front of me very beautiful and i was just in awe you know, um, but it says the most high is watching over you. Pro protection, prosperity, self-determination, self-resilience, inner peace and stability. And it says psychic powers. So this person absolutely, just as I said, they know you're intuitive and they could be sending you messages, whether they realize it or not telepathically, because they think of you so intensely, so frequently. Um, we also have backstabber plotting scheme and scamming and that sounds like that nasty devil that's sitting here trying to block of other and otherwise sacred connection so this person 
is dealing with someone and it says every evil eye that's watching you shall go blind impenetrable wall of protection so you are protected spirit is definitely protecting you i feel spirit is also protecting this union look what's on the bottom of the deck yet again i cannot make this up and we are about to pull the energy for what's hidden so whether you realize it or not if you keep on working at what you're working at it's going to lead to ultimate success ultimate financial breakthroughs windfalls of money new beginnings like it's just going to be absolutely amazing and we have um and everything's going to be on fire I, because we got john blaze playing and this is fat joe nas big pun jada kiss and raekwon rising power to beautiful big pun from my borough right on my block trinity avenue in the Bronx. but um yeah so you will be the first millionaire beloveds this is a beautiful energy of like that prosperity we already saw all of these cards confirming that so what is hidden in the energy for our beautiful scorpios wow that did a somersault it says go back to the drawing board re-strategize see that and that's exactly what that change is someone is changing direction changing their approach changing something that's what i was feeling and then we have downloads transmissions divine interventions so they're receiving that from whom they're receiving it from their angels their gods they're receiving it from that master teacher that healer that shaman that light worker they're reading they're researching they're doing their due diligence to receive and obtain that knowledge of self that knowledge that wisdom we have on the bottom of the deck you are uniquely made beautiful soul so you all are very unique you all are master teachers yourselves you are spiritual practitioners you are healers shamans light workers you are earth angels whether you realize this or not you are vessels beloved and others are seeing you as attractive especially in this energy of uh the emperor the aries it's all about beauty this is how others see you so this is a beautiful beautiful energy so let's see what the outcome is and outcome is and we're gonna wrap it out beloved we're gonna wrap it out so let's see what's the outcome and we have past life love vibes. Is this the one? Beautiful. On the bottom of the deck. So what came out? All right. So this flew out. So it says only calls with bad news. It's time to stop accepting those calls for your peace of mind. So whoever this person is that's mentally conflicted, they have an energy vampire on their ass. Or they have someone who speaks with a forked tongue constantly playing games, toying with their emotions, and painting illusions. So this person needs to block this energy off, cut them off, see them for who they truly are so that they can continue healing and growing. I feel they do because we already saw the victories and success. We already saw the strength. They're going to muster up the strength. We already see them taking their power back because they're controlling their own thoughts. We have reinvent yourself, new wardrobe, haircut, hairstyle, massage therapy, and there and, and i want to get one more card oh let me see one more card for the outcome and then we're gonna wrap it up all right and we have in the bottom of the deck the yoke has been broken so if someone was in a uh had some sort of spell or witchcraft done on them by some sort of practitioner or some sort of uh witch or whatever it the spell is going to be broken because i feel like your angels and your ancestors are giving you this breakthrough because remember you had that blue heron card that was also saying that you're you're protected the most high is watching over you and um so i do feel like that whoever that person is whoever you're dealing with they are absolutely uh going to receive some karma you know but look what we have it says don't eat everyone's food um and don't let everyone in your home so someone is dealing with a witch someone is absolutely dealing with some sort of um someone that's uh very toxic they have they're they're the devil so they they wear a mask uh but they're very you know calculating um and this is someone who doesn't realize that this person that they have around them um is really plotting on them remember we had plotting scheming scamming uh so this person is rich literally like a backstabber this devil whoever this devil is 
Uh, so someone is absolutely, this is what's causing all this confusion and this, because they, they have someone around them that is like, they have ill intentions and they're not really a friend. They're not really a lover. They don't want to really see this person succeed or see this person grow. So this person does finally have some sort of, you know, epiphany, I feel. But this is also a warning for you guys. Don't eat from everybody because somebody could be doing some sort of like, you know, that damn um, witch brew, you know, witch's brew and uh, warlock brew. And that that right there will have you stuck. That will have you feeling like this. And that's probably what somebody did. You know, they was cooking a whole lot. You know, you ever see somebody, oh, I love to cook. They just be cooking up stuff, cook, cook, cooking. And then you 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 thinking you eating some good food and they done put some ish on your ass. They done worked some damn voodoo or a heck do a hex at you. You know, did some root work on your ass. You ever see that movie Spell with Amari Hardwick? Um, whatever his name is, Amari from Power. Um, and that little old sweet lady, that little old, she was just a sweet old lady. So you thought, and she's up there doing all kind of hoodoo on folk and voodoo. So it's like, just cause somebody just, you know, look like they can cook their ass off and something tastes good don't mean that it's something you should be, you know, ingesting. So be mindful of who you're eating from. I don't care how good the food looks, you know, shoot, like for real. So, um, and what else came out? Something else. I feel like something came out. Oh, here it is. And it says you are beauty. In every fashion of the word, internal and external. This is how this person feels about you. Very attractive. I literally said that. I feel like this person finds you very attractive, mind, body, and soul. Like you stimulate them on many levels. And you also, you know, you, you, you cause an wreck. You know, you get them all hot and bothered. But we also have mental health matters. So someone needs to realize they got to get out of there, you know, Get out of this space where you are allowing yourselves to be manipulated because um, someone is absolutely doing that. They are taking every opportunity. So you got to make sure you're always protecting yourself. Like I said, if you want to help out the person you're attracting, um, you could do some sort of, um, you know, uh, ritual to protect you and your loved ones. You could light a candle. You know, you could write the intention on the candle. You could speak into the candle every day. Um, you could write, you know, um, a petition and place it underneath. Uh, you could take a marker and on the candle jar, you could write your petitions. You could draw sigils. There's so many ways that you can um, supercharge and activate, um, you know, your candles, your protection candles. Uh, or just make like even simple candles from the store, you can supercharge those um, and set it with your attention. You always want to cleanse the candles, get rid of any stickers and things like that. Get all that energy off of there by cleansing, smudging the glass. Um, you can take a nip off of the wick, cleanse the wick. You know, you can take some uh, Florida water and wipe the jar down with, you know, like a little damp um, paper towel with the Florida water. Uh, but you know, there's so many ways that you can uh, do that. And then you can write your intention. You can even take like um, a stone, like a jagged crystal, uh, and you can set right, right um, in uh, the counter. How do you say that? Um, counterclockwise, what you wish to rid yourself of and clockwise, what you wish to bring in. So right inside of the, the candle wax your petition. You could do that as well. You could anoint your candles with oils. There's so many ways, beloved, but you all may need to help your person out. I feel like your person is spiritual um, as well, psychic as well, in tune as well, and their angels and guides are assisting them, guiding them, um, but they've been learning from you. They've been watching. They've been staying, um, you know, in tune and tapped in with you. Uh, but they are mentally conflicted. I was picking up on that even with this this mental health card that pulled out uh, for how they feel about you. They're so confused. And then Vivian um, Green was Vivian Green was saying, you know, emotional roller coaster. And we saw now why, you know, because there's someone that's like pl plotting, scheming, and scamming um, in the background. This is somebody that is like relentless. This is someone that just refuses to let someone go. Uh, and we have uh, Sade, Cherish the Day. 
So I feel like when you and this person come into union, you're going to like literally cherish the day. Maybe the day you re, um, reconnect will become like your uh, the date you all will marry, the date you all will commit, um, the date you all will you know, um, take things to the next level. Maybe I'm here a year from then it will become, you know, like, you know, you all will probably just go and get married. But I, I just feel like you all have so much beautiful energy coming in on many levels. Like I, I don't just feel like financial blessings. I feel like financial blessings. I feel love. I feel success in your businesses. I feel like you, you're now coming into a, t a season of, of receiving, you know, and it's because of your work and I mentioned spiritual strength and all of those cards I mentioned during the um, you know the the build they came out so this is your reading beautiful Scorpios I hope the message is resonated because this was an absolutely beautiful reading um, for anyone that may be new thank you so much for tuning and tapping in I do have a special announcement that I want to share with you all um, spirit came to me especially uh, being that I get so many I get so many emails y'all about personal readings and I've always been against it because I felt like well you know I, did, I didn't want to do it I just didn't feel right I didn't feel like you know I needed to do that uh, but spirit was like nah if you're being if you're being asked to do a reading and people are willing um, you know to compensate you for your worth then why are you cutting yourself off from that like what don't you believe in yourself that you're not willing to go and 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 you know what i'm saying like go go fly your wings like it's time to take it to the next level so i am going to be obedient in that regard beloveds and i'm now offering uh personal readings i'm literally in the process of building a website uh the readings will be pre-recorded I was going to do like do the on screen videos and all of that, but it'd be too many complications and then it could it go beyond the time frame. I still have a job. So I would have to literally do it uh, when I am able to do it, opposed to doing it as an appointment, like, oh, I'm gonna call you at such and such time because sometimes my, my I'm one person. I can't I can't be everywhere at one time. I'm still a mother. I'm still head of household. I still got a job. I still got other projects I'm working on. So it's like I can't be everywhere. So I figured a, a, um, a recorded video um, will be more um it will be more feasible for me and it will be more accessible for you because you'll be able to reflect, you know, you'll be able to go back to that video if you need to, to listen to it at a later time. And um, so that's what I'm doing, y'all. So personal readings, uh, my, I tried to, I didn't try. I, I kept my um, my prices uh, very, um, very doable. I don't believe in, in robbing people. I want to be able to provide services um that everybody will be able to obtain if they need to. So you will find that the prices are reasonable, uh, especially in comparison to a lot of people. I literally had to go and look at the prices others were charging and, and, um, you know, try to work my, my, my readings to be, um, just as, uh, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, not compatible, but comparable, if you will. Uh, but, not exactly if that makes sense but yes i'm offering readings personal readings beloveds i'm excited about this because as i said with this new energy that's coming in i feel like spirit is really really um encouraging us to do the things that we may have uh pushed back or or, or uh denied ourselves from doing so now is the time beloved there's no better time than now uh, so I'm very excited to share that with you all. I want to thank each and every one of you beautiful souls that have patronized my business. Every item you see on there, uh, such as the crystal trees, such as the candles, such as the jewelry, the bracelets, um, the spiritual balls, the, the wands, I hand craft on my own. Um, I do not, you know, I don't, I believe in, um, you know, putting your own intention into things. So I handcraft on my own. That's blood, sweat, tears. That's time. That's energy that I set out to, to create these products. And I do it all with love. I love to show love. If you have purchased something from my shop, you know, I'm big on, um, giving gifts. You know, I like to thank you for patronizing my shop because you could have been at any of the other 10,000 shops on Etsy, but you was at mine. 
and I'd like to say thank you for your gratitude and um so I really just appreciate you all who have been there if you have not stopped by go check it out uh, I will be restocking my fiery wall of protection candles. I've made new pillar candles. It's like a drip candle. And I've also made some Baba Ogun candles. It's good for uh, protection. It's good for warding off um, negative energy, evil eye at your job, bringing in victory and success. Uh, very powerful energy. And um, so check it out. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in if you are new. I hope you stay a while. I hope my energy, the way that I read, hope the vibe was good. I hope the vibe was vibing today. And to my beautiful souls who are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big old fat eye shell. Peace. Love y'all.